So, folks, GSA and other government institutions are here uh, confiscating former officials' vehicle, uh, including the former police IG Pache Sudu, uh, the chief protocol to uh, president, former president Josh Wea, Finland Bondo. Uh, so, other former officials of government, uh, cars have been confiscated, and we are just coming to you live from Singer, where the GSA employees and other agencies of government officials are here uh, retrieving government's properties. So, please uh, stay with us as we bring you exactly the work of the the GSA and other people here. And so these are vehicles of uh, of Finland Bondo, the chief of protocol to the former president of the Republic of Liberia. Joshua. And these are the vehicles of the the vehicles of uh, Finambondo. Usually, these vehicles are being used for uh, commercial purposes. You have passengers using these vehicles, and of course, they paid money. So, any moment from now, we'll be talking to um, those from the asset recovery team uh, to speak to us uh, concerning about this process. So, several cars, uh, several vehicles have been packed. Uh, vehicles believed to be for the government, uh, government's properties. <laughs> so there you have uh, Mr. Rabos waxing. So uh, Imana Gongwe is also part of the. The police, the police people we are scoring. The police people, so the government, the police people, let them just land us straight to the field. So this is uh, Mr. Emmanuel Gongwe. He's one of the uh, tax force members. 
So these are Finda Bodo's vehicles. They confiscated by the Assets Recovery Tax Force members and the GSA. And they are now taking these vehicles to the head office of the GSA in central Monrovia. So, uh, Mr. Emmanuel Gongwe is uh, one of the members of the Asset Recovery Tax Force. Uh, Chief, welcome to the media. Thank you. We saw uh, members of the Asset Recovery Tax Force uh, confiscating or retrieving vehicles uh, that are said to be, I mean, I mean, belong to the government of Liberia. Can you please tell us exactly those vehicles that you confiscated? Uh, uh, who are those? Uh, vehicles belong to what we are we are tracking government assets uh, they are vehicles that people claim to have bought from the government uh, we are checking the document to see as to whether they truly bought this uh, from the government and some of the documents we are checking uh, they are incorrect uh, so if we check the document of the vehicle and the document is incorrect then we uh, ask the tow truck to carry the car to BDC and pack it, you know, until follow verification. So that's what we are doing. So you can see, uh, this is the Fulman RG uh, car. So no one is big for the process we are on. Uh, you mean the, the Fulman RG Padre Sulu? This is Padre Sulu car. Those uh, uh, yellow uh, taxes. Well, I think our investigation is a broader investigation. Uh, there are people who stole government money, bought um, you know properties, converted them to their their own use or converted them to their own names. So we are investigating those situations. So the yellow cars you see, um, we have some intelligence. So we are using the intelligence to begin the process of investigating how those yellow cars were being acquired. So especially so you investigate something. If you begin to investigate uh, seizing those vehicles, is it like uh, jumping to a conclusion before it No, no, no. We are not are jumping to a conclusion. The most important thing is that these vehicles are flying the street without documents. So that leads to something. And no car should be in the street without documents. So these vehicles are flying the street without proper documents. So we can now, you know, Welcome to OKTV. OK uh, my name is Pastor Donson here bringing you this live broadcast. There's a thing uh, opposite the Honest gas station on Fifth Street around the Liska building where the gas are carried on this search for government vehicles and other government property. So, any car that fits this certified way, they immediately pull that car over, take it into the fair. So, it will be up to you to prove yourself right or wrong. Okay. So, in there, we have some of the members from the Access and Property Recovery Task Force. We are here today. Uh, earlier, they were at the 540, and other people were at the 
UN graph around the GSA compound there. So, uh, later, I'm going to take you in the fence where other cars have been pulled over. So, the car is going to Bambuma Junction to get other vehicles that have been pulled over and subsequently will be taken to uh, will be, be taken to this place where other properties are. So you keep following. Today the team are comprised of guys from the General Services Agency, officers from the Labrador National Police, members of the Task Force, members of the Transport Unions, they are here carrying on this vigorous but it is yet to be clarified if this car is a, a, a government vehicle or not. So this is a former police RG Patrick So and these are cars that have been also been two over. So this car is carrying the government lesson plate but claim that it is not a government vehicle. So we're removing the plate. So we we remove the plate. Alternative that we should have um, time to come back with source documents, yeah, so that you know they be able to release the car, but they don't know see the detailed information. So, you've been running this car in traffic, yeah. right? Yeah, so what document you been using in traffic? It's legal, it's legal. We don't have any, they don't want transport document, police, whatever, they want something, some source document that can accredit the cars to show that they bought it in for somebody. That's what they want, okay. All right, your name? This year. So who are you driving this car for? Precious Ride, it's a company name. Company name? Yeah. So who's the owner of this company? It's a company. Yeah, somebody may be owning it. Or, you know, right. it the head of this company is Mr. Uh, 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 Quang Tuan, right? But he's Francis Momo. Yeah. Francis Momo. Yeah. But since after parking this car, we contacted the owner or the head of the company. The police, the police and the order of people are okay, there. Thank you, don't do it for the next one. Make a call and say, from 50 so again we are on fifth feet where the asset recovery team team is scary Okay. The credit cards to show time to come back with source documents. Yeah. 
Isaac had been pulled over by the tax force. Yes, sir. So why a car being pulled over here? Car is pulled over for tax check, according to the government. Fat check. Yeah. So have you been able to prove your, your, your claim? Well, they give us uh, an alternative that we should have um, time to come back with source documents. Yeah. So that you know, you can be able to release the car, but they don't know see the detailed information. So you better running this car in traffic, yeah. right? Yeah. So what document you been using in traffic? It's legal. It's legal. We don't have any. They don't want transport document, police, whatever. They want something, some source document that can accredit the cars to show that they bought it for somebody. That's what they want. Okay. All right. Your name? This year. So who are you driving this car for? Precious Rod. It's a company name. Company. Yeah. So who is the owner of this company? So, folks, GSA and other government institutions are here uh, confiscating former officials' vehicle, uh, including the former police IG Pache Sudu, uh, the chief protocol to uh, president, former president Josh Weir, Finland Bondo. Uh, so, other former officials of government uh, cars have been confiscated, and we are just coming to you live from Singa, where the GSA employees and other agencies of government officials are here. Uh, we choose. A special one from the CEO stand coming with the spoon and your boy Friday the South and Ben charges on the beat. Okay, so folks, I like to say welcome. Thanks for joining us tonight. Uh, on yet another edition of the program, the late night show, the late night politics. We're here live across the Spoon Network, Spoon 107.5 FM. We're live on Fabric 101.1 and Super 95.5 FM. Thanks to our partner radio stations across the country for relaying this program. Um, we're live on several radio frequencies across Liberia. Thanks to our folks on YouTube. Um, the YouTube handle is Spoon Talk Live. Uh, thanks to all of you who have joined us via YouTube. Thanks to our Facebook audience on Spoon TV, Fabric TV, and Super TV. This edition of the Late Night Show promises to be very hot, very fascinating. Call another friend, tell another person to join us as we get ready uh, to take on another great edition of the program. I'd like to say welcome to all of you across the world who have joined us tonight. Lots of things to talk about. Too many things happening in Liberia. We will talk about those issues, bring you uh, critical analysis on those different issues, and of course, afford you the opportunity to have your say on those issues of concern. Let me go across and bring in um, the team. I see Francis Jabati is already here, pretty seated. Uh, Francis, welcome to the show, man. It's good to have you on tonight. Uh, thank you, Nelson. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing well. Um, I'm glad that we're here again tonight. Um, another opportunity we have um to do what we've committed ourselves to and um it's just a a great way to start another show here tonight absolutely man absolutely uh, i want to say good morning to our folks in liberia and good evening to folks in the u.s good afternoon wherever you are it's good to be back on this great platform you know to discuss um issues that, um impacting our country so it's good to be here Okay, so uh, yes, I want us to get straight into it. The rest of the guys will come on, but um, um, I, 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 lots of things happen in the country. Uh, we have too many things on the plate tonight, uh, hoping that we can exhaust everything. Um, I just want us to take a few minutes to recognize a few of our folks in the comment session, if you don't mind. That's and uh, yes, uh, you want to kickstart the, the process as we. Absolutely. We have. Um... Y Yema Fayen, sorry if I mess up the name, Yema Fayen, welcome. Leonie Kona Yure, welcome. Uh, I'm sorry, I think that was a Warite. That's Warite. Uh, Wali, Ka 
what is Welikama K. Welly? Yeah, that's Welikama. Welikama. That, that's, a, that's a better name. <laughs> No, 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 but, 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 but listen, Francis, you got to be careful when you're you, you pronouncing these names, man. Werte, Werte, Walikama. No, they don't have Werte or that. And Werte, W R T is right. So, Werte, Walikama. Werte, Walikama. I don't know where you're reading from that. You, you're recognizing them from that. Welcome. Story. Conan Gato. Welcome. Uh, Edwin Q. Sigbe. Welcome. Patrick Poka, welcome. Daniel G. Darwin, welcome. Um, Magdalas Yakpa Zuk, Yakpa Hills, welcome. Yeah. Justina Jojo is best man, welcome. Kalifala Diaspora Diaspora Koma, welcome. Um, I see Vivian PC. Welcome, Pam. I mean, Khan Adolphus M. Welcome, Promise Plus Man Smith Jr. Welcome, Akola Cephas. Welcome, William Dunker. Welcome, uh, William Dunker. Mother's Love. Welcome, what father's love it? Jason yeah. Don, welcome. <laughs> this guy about to get me again. Azu Azubuk Azubaki 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 Onyesi Yates Jr. Welcome. Yeah. Oh, Azubiki. Okay, Azubiki. Yeah. Oh, the, the guy tried to pull the whole thing. Jr. Welcome. Okay. Yeah. He knew that I was okay, mess so, up. Yeah, so uh, uh, yeah, I really want us to take on the show earlier today. Uh, welcome, we everybody. Sorry, yeah, we didn't welcome get to everybody. you. Let, 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 let me just pick few, uh, a few yeah. names on there, and then uh, we can kickstart the show. Um, we're not going to be here too long, uh, but we have to do justice to what we have on the plate for tonight. Uh, I see Tabe Tobe. Tabe Tobe, welcome to the show. You say you're following from the U.S. Uh, kindness, Liwe, uh, welcome to the show. Azibuki. Azubuki, yes, welcome to the show. It's good to have you on tonight. Um, Azibuki, you will have to. We, 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 we need special arrangement for some class or something, you know, so we can learn how to pronounce that name well. But welcome to the show. Uh, Fatuma, uh, Fatuma Brown, thanks for joining us tonight. We appreciate you, City Williams. Thanks for being here. Get through the query. Thanks for being here tonight. We welcome all of you. Konya Lofa. Konya, we're hoping you can join us tonight. It's been a while since you came on the show. Uh, Konya Lofa, join us if you have, have the time tonight. Thanks for being here. We appreciate you. Luther Saki Jr., you say you're following from um, uh, where? Okay. Thanks for joining us. We appreciate you tonight. Uh, yes. Uh, Orlando Sumo, thanks for joining us. Joseph Numa, we appreciate you tonight. Um, in no specific order, I see Joe Morris. Joe Morris, thanks for being here. We appreciate you. And uh, he says, thanks, Francis, for uh, appropriately positioning the Liberian flag as your background. But stop. Uh... <laughs> stop. <laughs> stop <laughs> your names. <laughs> My man. <laughs> I'm going to school for me. That's very really interesting. Yeah, man. The, the, the people complaining. They said they're going to protest. I don't know whether we care. I pretend they don't care a miracle. If not bringing this move company, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah like but Lee <laughs> Lapo, thanks for being here tonight. We appreciate you. Um, I appreciate all of you. Uh, thanks for joining us tonight. But let's keep start the conversation from here. Uh, Francis, first, um, uh, uh, first of all, you know that there's something very important happening in the country. Uh, lots of things happening, but this asset recovery team is going to another level. Uh, and, and, and I want us to take on the conversation from here, Francis. The assets recovery thing is taking this whole thing to a whole different level. You know, and we play the video over and over in the game repeatedly because we want our people to understand exactly what's happening. Francis, just yesterday or, at, or I think the day before we had this process, we, we did brief analysis on that issue. But I must say, I was making my way to town somewhere around um, 
let's say one 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 p.m. Uh, coming from the very town area where our station is, uh, but it took me up to up almost an hour to leave from Cali Junction to just get to Vamuma to a point where I had to park somewhere because of the urgency of what what, what I had to attend to, and then go. And I was concerned what's happening just to realize that there was this asset recovery team that was um, in the traffic going after vehicles, searching those vehicles, trying to uh, uh, establish the, uh, the authentic owners of those vehicles as to whether they are government owned or uh, those vehicles belong to private citizens. How did they acquire it, especially if those vehicles um uh, um, you know, were bought by the government of Liberia. There's a whole process with respect to how you can legally acquire those vehicles. So as part of the process, I saw the guys in the field. I saw them everywhere. And in no time, I then got to realize what was happening. The first day, well, uh, the head of the team from the GSA said that they were going to decentralize the entire activity and make sure that across Liberia, they will get to get hold of those different vehicles, the people that are hiding it in their garages and other places. And at least to say, there are other people who are calling as well. There are other people who are calling as well. They're giving very important information with respect to where people are hiding those vehicles. And again, even before going any further, Francis, um, six years ago, at about this time, we were in this same exact spot where government was after people to bring back the cars. Some people were refusing to bring the, the vehicles back. And I remember President George, we had to establish some tax force. Uh, I think it was the special presidential tax force, something, there was some name they gave to that force, but they were going after those vehicles, going after government assets in different areas. As if we have not improved We've not learned our lessons. We've, we've, we've not practiced to be patriotic enough. Six years after, we are at this same spot where, again, this time around, it is an asset recovery team working closely with all the government ministries and agencies that are now going after those vehicles. Well, several vehicles were uh, confiscated today, including the police IG. The police IG uh, came in studio. He should have a piano spoon talk tonight, um, but he couldn't make it because of the time. Uh, but he he have he have displayed documents indicating that he legally acquired the vehicle. But not just him. Another arrest that caught the attention of so many people is the one that has to do with the gracious ride. Information filtering in the corridors. Over the, 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 the months, or over a year plus, since the, 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 the gracious ride vehicle hit the, hit the traffic, is that those brand of vehicles, or all of the vehicles marked, were, are owned by the former, the, the chief of protocol of the former president. Well, the vehicles were seized today. The drivers were asked to provide documents. The asset recovery team saw the documents and they thought it wise to take the vehicles. And I listened to an interview where one of the team members was saying that those vehicles were intended for the Liberian National Police, but how did they get here? That's the other aspect of it. So this is where we are. The asset recovery team is on this one. Lots of vehicles arrested. There are some people who have come up to speak, to have their voices heard with respect to this entire process. But, but, but let's start up with the exercise today. Then I'm going to bring some of the, uh, the, uh, the issues coming up. Representative Musa Hassan Bilete, for example, raised a very strong argument with respect to everything the, the asset recovery team is doing. And we're going to pull up that right up he came up with today. And uh, lots of other things happening. But let's let's hear your take. Let's kickstart the conversation from here as, uh, you know, get the other folks coming up. 
Yeah, I mean, you you unpack a whole lot um, uh, in a, a short uh, in a few minutes, um, so we have to take our time with it. First of all, let's go back to um, the last six years when President Weir took over, and you mentioned yes. that the same thing happened, right? Yeah. You see, something has to start from somewhere. You see, President George Weah took over, and he created his team to go after government vehicles and things like that. But what happened as a result of that? What 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 was the punishment? Did he uh, um, seize or uh, uh, recoup any vehicle from um, from the past government officials that were illegally taken away? And if yes, what did they do to serve as a deterrent so that it doesn't happen again? So it's very important. One, to put law into place or to put uh, processes in place. And two, what do you do when that, when you catch violators? What do you do when you catch the people that broke the rules? You see? Mm. So so what, what in my belief, he probably, probably just said, you know what, forget it. We'll just buy our people in a new car. They'll, 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 they'll forget about it and keep it moving. You, you, you're talking about the... the, 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 the... The previous yeah, government, yeah, other president yeah. George Weah. No, what we I mean, about? no. You you listen to uh the information minister, Mister Limit Pia today when he, he said that he was he and Doctor Monoba, they were yeah. asked to disembark the vehicles in the street. Doctor Monoba, at least for him, they escorted him at his gate and then they told him to disembark. Right, but but what I'm saying here is this: what this go current government will do. Mm -hmm. Was send a strong message that when when the President Barack administration is leaving office, mm -hmm. or if you're the party is leaving office, they'll be looking over their shoulders. You're supposed to send a message that when uh, to, uh, that when the, the government is leaving office, they should look over their shoulder that oh, I cannot do this because of what happened to the to the to the people before me. But if there's nothing, you, uh, nothing happening to those people that because that's stealing, that's stealing. Because you struck a very important point. Let me interrupt you a bit, uh, Francis. You struck a very important point. I think this is somewhere good to start from. Every government should set a deterrent that the government coming after that government will not face the same challenges. Absolutely. But let's face uh, one of the realities here in this whole situation. One thing to note here is that the government that sets the deterrence does not turn out to be that same government. In fact, the uh, uh, government A, for example, okay, let's let's take this. Go to President George Weah. Under President George Weah, they set up the special presidential tax force. That tax force went after all the people that had government vehicles. They were going after them. There were people hiding the vehicles in, in, in places, in a gate, in a fence, and other places. But the task force went after those people. At some point, it was seen as, as though it was a witch hunt, but to some extent, they succeeded. But following a transition is, is a bit difficult for that deterrence to be said because the people who carry on the action become the very perpetrator of, become some of the very people who are perpetrating this particular action at this time. Yeah, but Nelson, but this is what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. If, for example, you uh, you you, re you recoup 100 cars, right? Yep. You Those people that you took the car from, one, mm -hmm. they stole those vehicles. They yep. stole it. Because there are rules saying that when you leave office, you turn over government property and you leave. Mm -hmm. So if you take it with you, beyond the time that you're supposed to have it, you stole it already, automatically consider stealing. But then when you recoup those cars, what do you do to those people, matters? Do you publish their names and embarrass them and go after them and find them? If they don't pay the fine, you cease uh, things for them, or some of them face jail time. It may sound drastic, but it's not just a simple thing as, oh, oh, just a car. No, these cars cost a lot of money. It's cost the Liberian people hundreds of thousands of dollars, even millions of dollars over a presidential term uh, to get all these government officials, including represent legislation, vehicles. So if, you, if some people go to jail, 
So mm. uh, uh, pri personal property are, are seized and they are disgraced. Then, if you did, if I did that to you, and our brother Konya comes after me, you think I want that disgrace that I brought to you for him to bring it to me? I would say now another administration is coming in. I better make sure whatever I, I don't, I'm not supposed to take, it remains. But then when you come to the GSA thing too, it, it kind of like no system. Because like what happened to them with uh, former uh, IG, Patrick Sulu, right? I would mm -hmm. give you a lot of credit. He was very polite. They were even joking and stuff like that. That was, that was, uh, uh, that's, say what you want to say about him. We know how our library people can do, even when they're in office or not. You know who I am. You know this, you know that. But he was very polite. He was cordial. He, he followed instructions and he did everything by the book. So my hats off to him. But why is it that people can't go to GSA and say, okay, you know what? Give me a list of all government vehicles that you have. I need a list of it. So you can, when you see one or car that look like it, it shouldn't be, you shouldn't have to park people car. That car pulled over, you look at the VIN number, you look at your list. If it's on, if it, that VIN number is on there, then you can keep that car. But most of the cars that they pulled over yesterday and today, there are cars that they suspect that are, go, are, are, that are government vehicles or are still government vehicles. As we see today, Patrick Susan said he bought the car through the proper channel. But because they don't have a running list of these vehicles that were purchased, legally by other uh, former government officials or private citizens, now they put the car down, they say we got to no, investigate but, but, but again. But Francis, this know? is very important. And, you know, and, 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 and I can understand where you're coming from, um, but this action in its entirety, is it in the right direction? For the system we have in Liberia right now, especially there was no system. Konya, you want to adjust before? your camera to give us your Konya? Yes, I'm trying to do it, but uh, the, uh the turn, it, turn your camera sideways, your phone sideways. Uh, yeah, so you, you can just uh, make the adjustment in the background. Yeah. So yeah, so Nelson, we will work with what we have. I know people criticizing it. Uh, uh, Sam, uh, Sam Jackson were on the previous show talking about. Uh, uh, I think Grenada board, I think Grenada board design order. We'll work with what we have. Liberia will get to a place where there will be law, order, and, and system in place that people can copy and just uh, 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 duplicate over time. But for now, mm -hmm. we will do what we can. It may be a little inconvenient to the population, to the public. Like you said, you had to park your car and walk someplace else. But eventually, we'll get to a place where we don't have to chase after people. Uh, uh, to return government property because when a few people get locked up or their personal vehicle or property gets seized and they're in disgrace for stealing from the government, then these things will be uh, will somehow be put to rest. But for okay. now, uh, we'll take what we can get. Okay, uh, you know, and, and that that's a that's a great way to start. Uh, Konya, you you want to come in? Um, let, let, let's hear your take on this issue. Everything here, I mean, in its entirety, this process, the asset recovery team is out there. And um, more attention is given to the, the vehicles, you know, and, and trying to get a hold of government vehicles that are in the wrong hands. Do, do, do you see this as a good way to start? Is it, is, it, is it the right place to start from when it comes to this whole asset recovery team? Yes, of course. Let me say good morning to all of you and good morning to the listeners out there. Um, I think this process is a very good step forward in order for us to be on the right course. You see, uh, Nelson and my brother there, we cannot continue um, it like the past, you okay. know, wherein people get away with, especially cars. Most of the government assets that go away, they are the cars, you know. So I think this step is very good and it will be a deterrent to future government officials. And even the current government official, because if we are able to retrieve all the cars, because the fact is that the announcement has gone out, warning everybody to turn in government vehicles. 
uh -huh. and that these vehicles have not been turned in. In fact, I think to some extent, like what Alfred is saying, is that it's a Francis. Francis, right? yeah. No, Alfred. Yeah, what, what Francis was saying, I, 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 I was following, you know, um, initially when people started the conversation on the talk, um, is that whether these people will be prosecuted, whether they will go to court, uh, the fact that they didn't turn the cars in willingly, the vehicles in willingly, I think the access recovery team, uh, team will be able to follow uh, a set procedure to persecute these people. And as we recover more vehicles, more government assets, I think it's a warning. I believe it's a warning, it's a signal to those that will be trying to cross the borders, trying to cross the border into Africa, Coast, trying you know, to cross the border into Guinea, into Sierra Leone, that we mean business. But, 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 but listen, uh, uh, someone, I think it was Rudolph, raised a very important uh, uh, point here last, uh, last evening. He said, that whenever he hears about the asset recovery team, there's something bigger than vehicle that comes to his mind. Yes. Hearing about asset recovery team, and especially going back to executive order number 126, yeah. makes you think, I mean, you create that mental picture of uh, government or this team going after people who are squandered millions of dollars. People who use state resources to build mansions, whether in Liberia or out of the country, the government or the president in the executive order said that they are going to be working with Interpol using all diplomatic or uh, other diplomatic missions to ensure that even the people who misuse or squandered or embezzled state resources, regardless where they are, any part of the world they find themselves, that those people will be made to account. So he said that looking at asset recovery and, and, and the fact that we're just talking about cars, people in the street now, it's, it's, it's below his expectation. I mean, do, do you agree with that point? Yes, I do agree. Because as I said, it's going to be a, a precedent. It's going to be a precedent set so that in future, people will know what they have to do correctly. If you are in government, you should know that the government uh vehicles or whatever you take embezzlement where you take the money you know mm -hmm. so it will serve as deterrent to other i don't think this is a wish hunt because everyone is saying that it's a wish hunt this seems to be a wish hunt against the cdc led government officials no so our access recovery pro process is not only about vehicles because vehicle you could look at vehicle. we could recover those vehicles maybe two three months they will be gone or maybe they will not even have the market value, you know, they will have lose the, the value. So we will be looking at more, not only not, not only the vehicles, you know, like what 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 the the what the, the objective is that people who have stolen money and they the government of Liberia can actually work with Interpol, and some of us here can be able to work with Interpol with the government so that we can be able to know who has brought in money, who has wire money, who has got this property abroad. Like for example, like in Belgium, there are embassy staff that have been selling properties. In London here, there are officials here that have been selling government property. In New York, you know, in many places. So we can help, the Interpol can help, the government can, can press on Interpol, can rely on Interpol, so that we can be able to track these people. Unless we track these people, this situation is going to continue. And we we'll see that the government, once the government can put in time, I think we are on the right path. And I don't think this is a wish hunt. This is a precedent. We're going to set a precedent, as I said, you see. So I think with the vehicles, just the first stage is a very good, uh, it's hundred percent for the government. We can see the boost. We can see the momentum, and I'm very happy that the police director came out. The former police director came out to say that yeah, he bought. He he didn't fight the people. I saw the video. He didn't fight. He didn't resist. So I think it's a goodwill for Thank the you. people of Liberia. Thank you.
let, let, let's hold you there and this is very important i'm going to display the 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 the, the, the photo uh, the document that the yes. police ig uh put forward as uh that particular thing that he uh you know defending that he bought this vehicle and everything and I would just, to, that just, just, just to come in i'm not, I'm not yeah. cutting you off uh um uh mr nelson uh basically in order for us to track this vehicle because every government every vehicle that is purchased worldwide every vehicle that is manufactured worldwide wherever mm -hmm. they have got a unique identification number and this Definitely. identification number is called a vrn which is called yeah. a vehicle identification number the vein number so the vein number especially for the modern vehicle you can actually turn from the turn the vein number from just by turning the key on by the time you turn the initial on the V number will register first. It's yeah. it's within the it's within the the ECU, the engine management system. So besides the engine management system, some fraudulent people will try to erase erase the panel from the vehicle body itself. Again, the windscreen have got the vehicle identification number VIN. So those are areas that we will be looking at. Because every vehicle that is imported, that is shipped from abroad and imported into any country, the government, the transport department, the port authority will know who owns the vehicle, who ordered Thank the you. vehicle. Thank so you. Patrick, uh, Tony, I want to hold you there. I want to yeah. hold you there because we have uh, the rest of the folks in the background. We're going to bring them okay. on. But I, I want to go right. back to this video again because if we are talking about government owned vehicles, in Liberia, we say, Government car, yeah. Government car in Liberia now. Uh, friends say, "Why the word again? Use Bagwati." <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, I, well, a long time. Friends say, "Can say Bagwati." Uh, Government car in Liberia now. Bagwati vehicle. Let me bring friends on. Uh, sorry, uh, Ruda, Ruda, thanks for joining us. And uh, thank you, Nelson. Yeah, Papa <laughs> Pad car. Then let me bring Bobby on as well. Uh, for the first time, Bobby, uh, reach out. He wants to be a guest panelist tonight. Bobby, thanks for joining us. It's good to have you on tonight. Uh, so oh, let me let me let, let me say again before bringing this video, government car in Liberia, Dana any kind of car. Then. When you see government car, you know the Land Cruiser, the Toyota. You know those very good vehicles. Least to talk about the kind of vehicles our government officials use. You know, but. Mm -hmm. Taking a look at what happened today, you see yellow testing in the street. And this is one of the concerns that so many people have raised as well. How come these yellow taxes are also being um, 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 seized or confiscated? Are they government vehicles? Now, I, I, I want us to go back to this one. Then we're going to So, folks, GSA and other government institutions are here. Uh, confiscating former officials vehicle uh, including the former police IG Pache Sudu uh, the chief protocol to uh, president former president Josh Wea Finland Bondo uh, so other former officials of government uh, cars have been confiscated and we are just coming to you live from Singer, where the GSA employees and other agencies of government officials are here uh, retrieving government's properties. So please uh, stay with us as we bring you exactly the work of the the GSA and other people here. And so these are vehicles of uh, of Finland Bondo, the chief of protocol to the former president of the Republic of Liberia. Joshua. Yeah. 
there you have it. Yellow Texas. For, for instance, I, I see you shaking your head, but you, you saw the Yellow Texas, right? The, the, yes. the, the, the gracious ride. And, and yes. some other Yellow Texas, small, small kind of in the place too. What's what's going on? My, my man, when, when we talk about Fina Bono, I mean, when I, it's just accusation, right? Yeah. But, we're picking on Paris Street, man. I know Fina Bono from Paris Street. We have a pharmacy, our just read down across from the, uh, the video club. Mm -hmm. You are living right up the street. For me to hear Fina Bono now, that middle on here. No, but, but, but life can change, my man. My man. You know, nothing is impossible. Nothing is impossible. That was something I put in Labura. She, she, right? she was. That was something I put in Labura. Life can change, I understand, right? Because I've been out of Labura for going on 20 years now. But let me tell you something, my man. You don't have to get PhD to be successful. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the high school folks that were business people. One of my boys, he's a sell rubber, rubber, plastic, uh, Tupperware bowl when we were in high school. When we graduated, after I traveled, I noticed my boy traveling to Thailand, China, getting a goose and coming back. Those are the people that I can say, you know what? Those, they, they can turn in 10, 15 years, they become millionaire or, 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 or high six figure earner. You see, they've got a person really been pounding the pavement from the beginning. But until I left Paris Street, what fit that brother up and down Paris Street? She was not doing nothing. This woman, you know, uh, information is that she's very businesswoman. So, so I mean, that, that, that's the other side of it. But, but Francis, 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 uh, we're gonna come back to you. Bro, we're gonna come back to you. Let's, let's, look at the test. Let's, let's, just one sec, ten seconds. Look at the, those cars, right? It can tell you that those cars, the, I, I won't believe the people that said they were brought for the police, but they took it and spray painted it. Look at the nice, nice cars. You know how the broker can get our test them, man. I read that to it, see them in the Toyota, Honda, Nissan, the regular car, then we spray or use. But look at the car, how they look nice. So they even look like SUV. If you uh, look Konya, like Konya, uh, you're on TV, you have to adjust your camera no, properly. Man, yeah, on on the, 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 Konya, are you, are you hearing me? Konya, Konya, are you there? Um, I, need, yeah. I need to take my the cover up the protective case or sorry about that. Okay, yeah, yeah. So just do that. We'll bring you back they, on. But you have to, to our people, man. Your camera. Think, but, because there's no way. That, don't think, and I don't think that all the yellow card and that she get on. So imagine how is she able to buy all those cars? But there's a fleet of those vehicles. Yeah. You know, there, 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 there's a fleet of vehicles. But but, but let's let's move to Rudolph and then we're going to take Bobby as well. Rudolph, go ahead. Let's hear your take on this issue. The asset recovery team Again, is on it this time around. The former police IG, uh, Eric, my gave you said no volume. I think you have to check your gadget. Uh, everything here is working well. Everything here is working well. The former police IG has been caught in the net, he's putting up defense. But who's saying the truth? This is where we are. Let's hear your take on this issue, um, Rudolph. Nelson, um, I think the reason that this team is being radical, like how they, like, I mean, that, that we all see today is because of the fact that there are ministries, Nelson, there are ministries that, that don't even have vehicles to operate. Mm -hmm. We, we, we all listen to Minister Pia today. He said within the entire Ministry of Information, Information Culture, Can I go ahead? Yeah, go ahead, sir. Go ahead. Yes, he said within the entire Ministry of Information, Culture, and Tourism, mm -hmm. there's, there is only one vehicle, and that is the one that he drives. There are other ministers, deputy ministers, of, and other employees who, who cannot do their work because they don't have vehicles to move around. And we have the people who have these vehicles criticizing government. That within two months they are not seeing anything going on. They, uh, they, I mean, there is no tangible work happening, but they are in possession of government property that, that that are supposed to speed up the work of this government. Nelson, I think that is why we see this level of radicality going on right now with with, with regards to people stopping vehicles on the on the street. But the, the thing is, Nelson, myself, I mean, I have my own issues with this, right? I feel like people, I mean, you you don't just go 
in the, the street and say, oh, because this, because the only point of seizing the vehicles is because it looked like a government vehicle, right? So they will, will stop you and say, oh, this, this vehicle resembles government vehicle. And then before they can start to, then they will, then they will start to investigate. I feel like it shouldn't be done like that. I feel like people should do their background investigations and and then you'll be able to, I mean, to to take your investigation to a specific person or to a, a specific vehicle. Not just to be stopping people and making sure if it's a common vehicle or not. No, I think it is wrong. So so no, no, let, let, let's understand your point. Are you saying here, Rudolph? Yeah. The asset recovery should go and do investigation. Yes, because Nelson, Nelson do the Nelson. investigation first before going after the vehicles. Nelson, yeah. How about those vehicles that have been taken and hidden in some some faraway places that the government cannot even locate? How do they get it? Nelson, you know? that is just mm -hmm. yeah. That go is, ahead. That is just one part of it that you are talking about. I mean, you you may be right with your your point, but Nelson, uh, when those guys stood at 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 what's what's the name of the place? Ad farm, farm, ad farm, mom place there. Yeah. There were, there were people, ordinary Liberians, who were being delayed from going to where they were going to, only because the government is on the road and just like looking to see which which vehicle is, is, is for government or not. You don't carry on. In, I mean, it's a, we are talking about a whole government. You don't, have, have, in my own mind, you don't operate like that. You you should have some 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 level of evidence. People stopping somebody on the the street because it's not not so here is it with the issue of patrick right it's a whole whole different issue it's not not about holding on to, to government car and not wanting to mm -hmm. get it no it's mm -hmm. so that so there is a law wherein the the government can sell vehicles to individuals and government officials or what have you right so with regards to to patrick case that is the case that, that happened and they are saying that we will take your vehicle and we will go and we will check to know if you bought this this vehicle through all of the channels. And then if we if our finding shows that you follow the channel, then we then we then we will give it back to you. If not, we will take it. Nelson, don't you think it is smart enough to do your background work before coming to come stop the man and take the vehicle and say you you go in. Uh, I mean, like, check to see if 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 he went through the, the channels. I think it is wrong. And and the argument is that oh, it was going on in the, the past regime because the minister said it. He said that doing doing Mr. We are regime, a car that he bought was taken from him, and he did not get it back. Even though they said that that, that they were going to investigate, but they, he didn't get it back. He and he also mentioned Clarence money, but was was disgraced. Yeah, we agreed. We agreed those things happen. And and they were were wronged, so Nelson, this is my government. I campaigned for this government. I did not campaign for us to do what is to to do what we saw Jawia doing. No, so for that I am not happy about it, honestly. Okay, thank you. Uh, thanks a lot. Let Let's hear from you, um, Bobby. Can you can you can you say something? No, we're not hearing you. So you have to log out and then try try to come back in. Nelson, just, just five seconds. Just, just try to log out. What I said. I know it is inconvenient to the people in the public, right? But also think about it. In the, in the US here, when they do DUI checkpoint, it's inconvenient to people. You have no so, evidence so, that somebody is. So, so Ru Rudolph is talking about the evidence and all of that. But, right. but now, let, let, this, this is a document that Colonel Patrick Sudo, the former police IG, is presenting. You see his name there, Patrick Sudo, asset, as, uh, asset release permit. Uh, that's why it's called General Services Agency, the GSA, Republic of Liberia. Uh, the, 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 the serial number is there, GSA code is there, the color is black. Uh, and, and, and the document here reads, it says, this is to indicate that the bearer of this document has completed ne uh, necessary requirements regarding the acquisition of GOL retired asset 
as prescribed by the General Services Agency in keeping with its statutory mandate as principal custodian of all GOL assets. The bearer of uh, the bearer is hereby granted permission to take delivery of said asset. Please accord all due courtesies and cooperation in this regard and not to subject the bearer to an undue uh, restraint or inconvenience. Nelson, you don't even have to complete it. Hold on there, Nelson. You don't even have to complete it, right? That and is, this is my point. But that, is it, that's that a problem. Point, and you see the signatures there? The but signatures Nelson. of, uh, you know, blah, 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 blah. But, Nelson, but this, this is a, Nelson, this is a Nelson, problem, right? And this is why some people think that this thing is a wish hunt. And no, 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 that okay, is, so so let's do it one at a time. Yeah, let, 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 let's have Francis to come in, then you'll come in, Rudolph. Let, let's have Francis. This is part okay. of the problem, right? Yeah. When you buy a car, they don't take paper and carry you say, oh, you drive it around, the street, you should be subject to any stop or check and stuff like that. When you buy yeah. a car, you get your title, you get your your register, everything that comes with the, with the purchase of that car. So if GSA, if you bought that car for GSA legitimately, yeah, mm -hmm. they shouldn't be writing him letter like a like, like a, a parent writing his, her their child an excuse not to take to the principal at the school, say oh my child is sick, let her leave and go see the nurse and stuff. No, give the the title of the car, the the the, the better sale, or whatever document come with the purchase, and then GSA should show, they should show, he should show evidence that if you buy a government vehicle, mm -hmm. you should pay to the central bank. But, but, but so Francis, again, I don't Francis, think you Francis, took you took keen look at this document. Francis, Maybe I should display the document again. Francis, yeah, that's that's his problem. Uh, 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 you're gonna come in. You're gonna come in, Rudolph. Yeah. Oh, but let's do this. Let's do this in order. Francis, mm -hmm. taking a look at the document right before yes. us on the stream. You see the name of the bearer. Yes. Uh, there, Colonel Patrick Sudu. The date issued. So he bought this card on the, uh, it was issued on the 21st of uh, October, 2021, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And then you, the next, the next uh, there you see is the, the description of the asset. It's a Toyota Cruiser SUV. But, then but, next, but, 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 no, no, I, 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 I want to digest this thing. document. Maybe, maybe there's something wrong here. Maybe, maybe yeah. there's... There's something not coming through here, right? Mm -hmm. So I want us to continue till we get to the end of this particular document. We're not we're not going to read the portion we already read, right? So uh, you, the description of the asset, Toyota Cruiser SUV, fine. You come to the serial number, is there. You come to the GSA code, the code is there. The color, the plate number, everything is there. And as of the time this vehicle was sold to uh, the police IG, the vehicle uh, 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 was uh, the vehicle was four years old. As you see in the upper um, right corner of this document, it said this four years old vehicle has met all disposal requirement due to multiple mechanical faults. So they call our old car. It, though it was not an old car parked in the garage. A race car parked in the garage, but they call our old car. All right, yes. it was four years old. But 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 but, but, but let's take let, let, mm -hmm. let's take something into consideration, and maybe that's where these policies and stuff will have to be looked at. A car, because under the uh, this GSA thing, you you cannot, the government is not supposed to buy second hand thing. You should buy brand new. That's what brought the problem at uh, what's the name of the place that uh, conducts the census uh ledges when uh the team there said they bought second hand generator for you know some a uh, 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 thousand or so but government as a whole is not supposed to buy old car so if you are buying a brand new toyota cruiser an suv in in all fairness does that particular vehicle outlive its usefulness, or does it become? Um, I, I, I'm trying to, to find a way to put it. 
does this get to a point where in four years time that brand new car will get to, will meet that point where is is it, it should be disposed it will have multiple mechanical faults you me i'm, I'm buy a new car people like a new car i won't understand the aspect Nelson, guess let what? me just wrap up Nelson. So, four years time right, Nelson, right, the law coming. on book says after three years you can sell it now you can get full so my issue here is with right now let me finish that you can come in bro i'm not kidding oh, yeah. you running too <laughs> nothing the problem with that thing there is what take, take, there's a big problem that gsa paperwork came he is like probably sort of bought a car from himself they were doing the weird uh administration you see so who knows if that paper is even real did it show any uh, financial record that he can send your bank show that Patrick Sulu what because when he buy from for government and he takes money straight to central bank and put in the account in the government account so is there any transaction record showing Patrick Sulu pay for this car or is that the weird GSA Okay, yeah, yes. the fair receipt when you, when you make the payment, when you make the deposit. Yes, so yes, can you show that deposit and can Central Bank show the deposit record of him purchasing that car from, 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 from GSA? Other than that, uh, excuse me, that his parent gave well, okay, you. Okay, uh, okay, uh, okay, okay. Uh, let's, let, let's disregard that other aspect. Rudolph, I'm, I'm going to come to you next. But there's, there's something, there was this concern I had, which had to do with the cost of the vehicle. How much does this car cost? Because, you know, so the people then are government can take taxes from. Hmm? The people can sweat. They work half of their money in it. And government will call it. Why are you like it or not? You see, I say nine hours a day when I'm supposed to be with my family sleeping. But let me hear working 2 a.m. up to 4 a.m. At the end of the month, you'll cut my taxes. For example, then you go, you buy a brand new car. Someone in the comment section here, and, and I need, I, I need uh, others to, to check this up as well. That Toyota Cruiser, that SUV, Joseph, uh, right. it, said it costs yeah. around yeah. 80,000 United States dollars. He is right. So if you buy a car for 80,000, he's chasing no role. He's chasing no role. 80,000 United States right dollars. Car. No you role. use the car for four years. After four years, is the government really serious? Is this Does this policy make any sense? That after four years, a car you purchase for eighty thousand, then someone will go and pay three thousand five hundred to acquire that vehicle. Rudolph, come in. Let's hear from you. You know, our people in the comment section. I mean, you can beat on me all you want, but some. I mean, you know, you guys know I come here and most time, the time other people can say, "Oh, I'm defending JMB government so much." I mean, let's put aside our personal feelings a little bit and put on our thinking cap. Nelson, first of all, I would like to say that this law mm -hmm. was not put into place during the time of President Weir. This, this is a law that came from Madame Salif regime, right? And Nelson, you see, if you have a law that doesn't make sense, wicked people uses that law. Hmm? to amass wealth for themselves and to be bad to the country. My issue here that I have is with the law. I don't like Patrick Sulu to say, oh, why they have to stop him? But this, this man is, is, is what he is doing is, is within the confines of the law. Nelson, <laughs> there is it, right? My thing is, so the, uh, it's not, not even four years, the law behind this thing it says after three years, uh, the the government can sell the vehicle. Now, saying, tell me how crazy is, is such a is such a is, is such a law? And the one that is even more disgusting to me is the fact that they allow government officials, even someone who was using that vehicle that he said is poor, he can rebuy. It. That is stupid. Yeah, the man know the car worth eighty thousand. You say wants it for three thousand. So, uh, so uh, my, uh, he is, knows. Uh, and you know, I mean, and you know what that does, Nelson. That makes people to rough handle and care less about government properties. Because they know that if I drive the car here within three years and once I can do, make, I can do it in a way where it will keep having issues, guess what? I will buy it. And I, and I know what I did to it. I will, I will buy it. I will, and I will put it in, into a group. And I will start to use it for my family and, my, my, and myself. So my thing is, 
I mean, this law needs to be revisited. And if possible, exclude government officials from the bidding process of these vehicles because they are the ones damaging it. For instance, I know you think that I am taking side with these guys. No, I am not. My anger is coming from the system. Right? And here is it now. This guy, you arrested this guy, and he is showing you a document. When you are arresting this guy, come forward with evidence that this guy did not pay the money to Central Bank. Come forward that they, that you have the like that that his 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 documentation is fake before you can take the car away from him. Because now what you are doing, you are telling us that you will take the car from him, even though he has what he has as a document, because that's all we have seen for now. So it is legit in our eyes for now. You will seize that, that car from him, even though he is showing a document, but you cannot show otherwise, but you will seize the car from him, and then you go investigate. And then when you're, you're finding proofs otherwise, then you, then, then you, I mean, you, like, it, 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 it doesn't make sense. You can beat on me for whatever you like, but let's thank you. ask me about this thing. Thank you. Thank you. Um, 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 Konya, you want to take 20 seconds on this quickly? And then uh, we, we, I have a document I want to pull up quickly. Can you unmute or maybe I should do this? Okay, I just unmuted you. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right. I'm not in disagreement with what my brother have just said. But mm -hmm. what it is, is if Mr. Uh, the former police director, the RG, can prove that he honestly, genuinely pushes this vehicle, he can bring the flare receipt to prove that he pushes it. Even if he cannot produce the bit of lending, the original bit of lending, if we can be convinced, if the access recovery team can, or the tax code can be convinced that he legitimately pushes the vehicle, provide evidence that means the flare receipt which he may have paid the uh, the required amount into the government account well because of depreciation value we cannot say because the vehicle was eighty five thousand or thirty five thousand dollars i mean what gsa said or what gsa requested of him is what he paid once he can convince us he can convince the government that he bought this vehicle from gsa i will have no problem with it but that letter so me, I don't want to jump the gun. I think it's fake. That letter you just display on the screen, I think it's fake. But 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 is it possible for this thing to be fake, Konya? That the vehicle, the vehicle, the vehicle, the vehicle, the vehicle was seized today, and the man going get the same fake document on the same day. No, he may have obtained because he was alive. The criminal. I'm not saying that he's a criminal. We who do uh, this kind of an investigation. He may have, he, because he was alive, he was aware that this was going to happen. And that's why you see that most of the people are changing colors of the vehicle, like those yellow vehicles. They were not yellow. Trina Bodo has not been running Texas in Morovia unless she can convince us. If you see the fleet, you can tell that actually they were meant for a certain organization, I think for the police. Those cars that you display on the screen, the yellow, the yellow cars, you see that they're being sprayed. And I believe they were actually meant for the police organization. So unless Patrick Zulu can convince us that he legitimately purchased death vehicle with a flare receipt, when he made a payment, where he paid the payment, where did he go to make the payment? We want to see those evidence, not that letter. Those letters can be, I can bring those letters, you don't no, know? I can bring those kind of letters. Somebody can go to World Trade Center and bring them. The government is not telling us that you have to prove that you got it. They are telling you that I will seize it and then I will, will go investigate to prove yes. that you didn't get it, which is yes, the problem. But that's, how, that's what the police can do. The police can impound people's vehicle. They seize them. They came into a capital building, capital bypass there in the headquarters. So, so now, the if they, so what if they go and investigate and then they are proving wrong? Do you know what they say about this government? If no, then, no, then no, if there's then no system of, for form. finding out, it's not no a system for checking. That's the problem. So this, 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 the 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 no, no, guys, guys, we have to do this in order. We have to do this in order. So let, let's have our brother Koya to lend his thought on this issue. Then we'll be yeah, as I was saying, once the gentleman, once the former police RG can convince the tax force that he honestly, genuinely purchased this vehicle, no matter the amount. Because we have to consider depreciation value of the vehicle. The vehicle could be 84,000 new, but the depreciation value over a year could come to 10,000, 2,000, 3,000, depending on the state of the vehicle. So to convince us, 
to confuse the tax force. All he needs to do is tell us when he paid the money, where he paid the money, and he can bring us some flare receipt that he paid uh, for this car. But that, wow. that is not what you, you know, are uh, uh, This is important. Yeah, that is uh, uh, Lynn is saying, Nelson, no. Nelson, the Nelson, only only has, Nelson, uh, please, uh, one second, please. Once, once, yeah, one second. Yeah. So, 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 yeah, let, 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 let me just, let me just come here with something. Lynn Lapo is saying that the onus is on the accused yes. to provide proof of sale. <laughs> do, 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 do. Konya, do you agree with this? Yes. We say, we say, we say what? what do we say? The, the, the burning of, of, the burning of, of proof lies on, on the accuser. Yeah. So the accuser, no, 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 no I, I don't want you to miss the thing. <laughs> on the accuser, not the accused. <laughs> on no, the accuser. In this case, in this case, we are looking at the accused to provide evidence of proof. But that is not the message. No, then then you haven't listened to what they are saying. I, no, am... no, I, I will mute you, Rudolph, because you keep interrupting. Uh, I don't want to put you in the back in the background. Let's, let's, let's do it for everybody. Yeah. If I bought this, if I bought this instrument i bought this instrument i should be able to provide some receipt for this instrument that i bought it so the letter alone that you displays on the screen is not enough to convince us that patrick zulu bought this vehicle thank you thank you so patrick, thank you. if patrick zulu can come with a flare receipt when he paid because according to your document you display is on the in october 2021 is it 2022 2021. 2021. So I, that wish time, I wish time the vehicle was just four years old. But 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 yeah. let, let me hold you there a bit. Let's let's move to Bobby. Let's move to Bobby. Bobby is here to speak since uh, we started the show. Bobby, it's good to have you on tonight. Welcome to the late night show. Wow. Again, we're not hearing you. Uh, okay. So I, I think your browser. Maybe you, when you were logging in, you didn't uh, grant access to uh, Streamyard or the browser to use your mic. So go back there, grant access to use your mic. Then the browser will grant access. I think that's where the mistake came from. Yeah. I don't know if it's a computer or a phone you're using, but your Chrome browser, grant access to, the browser should grant, uh, grant access to your microphone, then uh, that, that will be able to go through. I think that's where the issue is coming from. Nelson, please. You know, uh, why are we talking about this, guys? Let me put this up. This document, <laughs> you know, this conversation is progressing every single minute as we go. Every single minute. So, the Honorable Chairman Musa Hassan Bility made this post in relation to what happened today. He said, don't rush with asset recovery. First, establish the lost assets, assets and publish it. Ask those in possession to return or face prosecution. And begin to search for the specific assets of government that are lost. Stop this nonsense of, 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 of stopping peaceful citizens and asking them to establish their ownership of their vehicles. The government must first establish the asset lost before they can start to search for them come on fellas you came with experience use it stop making a mockery of a well-intentional process and i underscore that stop making mockery of a well-intentional process not yours shameless <laughs> no no listen listen uh, 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 I, I'm not, I'm not going to go there. M maybe Vasco wants to read this post from uh, Chairman Billete. Vasco, Vasco, welcome to the show. Vasco, you want to read this post from Chairman Billete? The, the post right on the screen. Again, let me. <laughs> this yeah, is Vasco, wait, you're coming with all us. But, yes, but this I is what this is what Chairman Billete said. All, all joke aside, this is serious business now. Can I get my ten seconds? Uh, Chairman Billete. Chairman Billete is expressing a very strong view here on this particular thing. He says nonsense. It doesn't make sense. And, and I underscore that point, that particular portion where he said that the government must first establish the asset. 
that they want, the asset they lost, they should first of all establish all those assets. We are having TD chair in the play. We now get TD chair again at two years. Okay, so it means that two chair we're looking for. They we procure 50 vehicles, but as per our own um assessment, everything the 50 vehicle that only 25 years, so it means that 25 vehicles. What are the kinds of vehicles we're going for? Okay, uh, uh 10 Land Cruiser, uh, three this one, and four the other one. And he said, Stop making a mockery of a well intentional process. What is he saying? Is he trying to say that the asset recovery process is a well calculated, plot targeted at certain individuals? Now, now let, 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 let's 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 start with Francis on this one. Nothing. I mean, I I kind of agree with him a little bit, but he should he he should stop being shameless. Also, saying you want to talk about shameless, mm -hmm. isn't it like a country where millions of dollars can go missing? A country that millions of dollars can go missing. What is the system in Liberia? You can go to health ministry or wherever to get birth certificate today. Two weeks later, if you go back to get a duplicate, the, the, is that something that you can go to the system and print it out? No, there's no system in Liberia. So you can, we can look both ways. So let him start making all that noise. We know he's campaigning for 2029, but we're not helping. Then I'm going to point in the get called by the group. That that a moth invaders, that moth invaders in the uh, thing they play for. But so let's be realistic here. Labra has no system, and that's why this government need to, need to scrap everything from the past and create a system. We need to have a system where even you, even when your driver license, you sit on your smartphone and you re, you, you 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 register for your driver license or you renew your driver license and things like that. But you go to Jesus like that letter he showed, right? I'm mm -hmm. not saying he keep a World Trade Center. I'm saying that he got, he bought that car during the we are led government when he was police director. He bought a car for himself. It's possible that he did not pay a dime for that car, but the GSA director said, you know what? But man, just signed it didn't say he paid three thousand dollars and go say that. There is no evidence. So that's what we need to see. The payment record where he made that deposit. But, for but, 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 but Francis, so, even assuming the three thousand five hundred was paid, do you think, in all fairness? That a car worth over eighty thousand United States dollars after four years should be bought for three thousand five hundred dollars. Right, and that's why most people are not even paying attention to the talk about. Even if you bought the car, did you buy it through the proper channel? And the proper channel is not only going through GSA and taking money and, and put and deposit in central bank. Mm -hmm. the, the procedure also is what did you pay the actual value of the car? Because if you bought a car for eighty thousand for with zero miles, where is Padre Sudo going? If he drives to Maryland County every month, going back and forth, how much miles were on our car when, when he bought it? He's not chasing no road. He's not reporting to no uh, citizen in distress. He's just driving around, picking, doing, going to the office and going back home or doing whatever he does. So 80000 after four years, even if he depreciated about 10000 10000 every year, that should, uh, I think, that should bring it, if that's four years, that should be at least 40,000 that car should be worth. They see from the lab report so much. So what Musa Benzo will kind of talk about, oh, uh, is embarrassing this and all that. He got system. Even he's a representative. What system the guy in there that he can boast of, that uh, of tracking even that documents and stuff like that. Then I file the guy paper, sitting in that in file and put in a drawer, a fire catch somewhere, there's no record of anything. They want to talk about system. I agree with him. They should find those vehicles. Make a list. No, no, but, but, but again, Francis, 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 if you if if you want to make a fair analysis of honorability statement, then you should look at all aspects. There are lots of things he he said in that single write up. Yeah. Firstly, he's disagreeing with the government on the way the process is being rolled out. He's saying that if you want to roll out this process, you should first have an idea. Of what you're going after? How many cars is the government going after? Before how many cars did you buy in the last How many cars, right? You know, Some of these cars, you have to don't have record, but at least people that work in these agencies know the, know those cars. So you can be working and you know that the car exists, but you doesn't have it on record. You see, so that's the problem. Wow. There's so much problem with, 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 with what Thank he you, said, Francis. and he's trying to campaign over here. They're trying to act like he's so in the middle. He's not. We're not going to not come in. Let you just sit on and wait. But we're not. Thank you. Thank you, Francis. Let, 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 let's hold you there and bring in Rudolph. Uh, Ru Rudolph, go ahead. Let's hear you. You know, firstly, I, I'm going to start with this. 
Mm-hmm. You know, we sometimes we overly exaggerate this saying that there is no system in Lab- Liberia. Government procure vehicles and they have a record for whatever they buy, or for, or for, or for whatever they buy. That doesn't mean that you, like, that you should have a vibrant system to keep that kind of record, no. I, I, I don't agree with you, Francis. And also, who, for people who know me for a long time, I am not fond of most ability at all. But for this one, I, I mean, I am obliged to agree with him. Nelson, when you read that stuff, he said, there was a point that really captured me. He said, stop making mockery. Wait, okay, yeah, let me jump, jump, jump. Yeah, stop making a mockery of a well-intentioned process. You can put you can, can put it down. That was what I was trying to, to get. Nelson, what he is telling you is that this process came to birth with good intention. It was well intentioned. Right? But now the way it is being carried out, it, it is, I mean, it, it is in 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 a certain extent validating the argument of wish hunt. Because I mean, what needs to be done or what needed to be done before this action can be taken was that done. Well, what exactly needed to be done? Nelson, he was, he wrote it. He said, and which okay. I, I agree well, after the answers, make sure you know where you're going. Yes. Oh, well, Mick, everyone, welcome to the show. It's good to have you on tonight. Uh, let, let, let's hear from our, um, 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 our brother quickly. I mean, friends, I have all the time, time to talk. I'm having to ask about 30, 30 seconds. You okay, take 10 you. seconds. Take 10 seconds to conclude. And Let's give our brother uh, his one minute, you, Vasco and Mikelon. To you, our brother Lofa, I get where you are coming from, right? But the the but the government is not telling the people say we are arresting you until you can show us that you bought this thing legally or legitimately. No, that's not what they are, they are t- telling them. They are telling telling them that I will seize this until I can I can arm myself can investigate. And show that you did not buy it legally. So my thing is, if 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 that is your channel, why not do your investigation first, and then you you will, will save yourself a, a lot of hustle and tussle. Thank you. Because now when you are arresting the man, you are proving to him that my man, you I mean you you this thing you you filed this system, so I am taking it away. Thank you. That, let's I mean let's be logical here and and put aside our our feelings on this one, please, guys. Thank you. Uh, Konya, let's hear you. And then we take Vasco next. Well, uh, I don't want to be somebody seen as targeting the former RG. This is across the board. You know, this is across the board. We have seen a lot of cars today or yesterday uh, being recovered or being stopped, especially the fleet from Pinda Bodo, allegedly uh, owned by Pinda Bodo. So we also want to know how she got those cars, um, when she imported those cars, the VRN number for those cars, the original color, because I see that uh, she's been running them as a taxi or for some commercial use. So we also want to see those documents. It's not only the police director. And for Musa Bedete coming up with this kind of a statement, where for some, and he, he have got his right to his, you know, to his, uh, what you have to say, but I don't think this is a wish hunt, and I think the tax force is doing very well. Over the next month, over the next 30 days, I think we're going to have most of these cars, most of these vehicles recover. And we are using this medium again to call on all those who have got government vehicles that the daily pushes to turn them over, to avoid embarrassment, to make the job easy for the tax force. That's what I have to say. Thank you. Um, uh, Vasco, let's hear your take on this issue. Yeah, thank you, Nelson. <clears throat> um, <laughs> the whole thing is just laughable. I'm telling you, look, the government... Ch- Ch- Ability is talking about experience. That's what I was saying, yeah. Nelson. Yeah. These, people, these people came to power with, with mm. little of a loud information or noise or all the places that they are so qualified they have all the experience but for what are people doing right now i'm confused that's it and this this, this is some of the reason we last time we said the people that you put on the asset recovery team that will damage it 
I mean, this is a good venture. Nobody can steal government property and then we'll say now here, we'll say, oh, we clap it for them. You understand? If you're doing this thing, look, they got all qualified and competent Liberian. A vote of politics. The asset recovery is not just a, it's, it's, it's not even. It's a process. You know what I mean? To take some other property, you are going after that property. You have to investigate and know that when you struck, you struck. But what happened today? They get they, they, those guys are on the asset recovery team. They will be going to court. They're not gonna go to court to go proof. Why you see those people property? Look, we got law in this country. No individual can just come in the street that don't have any legal right to seize any ordinary citizen property. You just get in the street and start seizing people property. We all know those kind of men that can come from the court and the court will send their people. But, but, but Vasco, with all of what you're saying here, the information minister was on air not too long. He said part of the reason why all the whole documenting you're talking about, they're not using it is because your, your government didn't leave any document. You're going, you're scattering all the document in for, for them to not trace anything. They yeah, bring most of the document down. You know? Nelson. And right, right at the, around the transition period, I turned the whole fire business started. It started from ministries and all the different, different, different places. That's cool. The information minister said that most of the documented results are used to go after the thing. You're scattered. It. They can't find it. They can't go Mary Brown accountable because Mary Brown was the, 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 the head of GSA. She was responsible for government uh, 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 properties, especially vehicles and whatsoever. You understand? But the one not inform the guys going about doing these things, they will damage the entire asset recovery team. And I agree with my brother Rudolph. I know y'all beat on the bank because today he's saying the fact. So the other day when he disagree with you, he can't be saying the fact. But today he's no, saying I, I'm the fact. I'm talking to them now. I yeah, mean, we're going to say the fact. You listen to Musa Benedict. I just somebody who in the own red man go against what Musa Benedict is saying. Musa Benedict is telling you that this issue is very good. This is a good idea. But you don't have no right. What is the legal authority you got to go stay in the street? What kind of legal authority in Maya Gongo than having to stay in our street and be telling Pope at your castle? Look at, look, we got, this is a country of law. And these people said so or educated and they know everything. The, you know that Fida was taking them to court. Fida was taking them to court. And we know, let's see, we're not coming on as a solution. You see, you all talking today. When we told you people that if you put this kind of people on this asset recovery team, they will turn this whole thing to be a wish on. And this is what happening. So you want to tell me the government is going after taxes and all? Eh? Taxes? If you think that finance stole money, eh? You should have your evidence of finance stole that money and that the money finance used to purchase those taxes. But you don't have anything like that. According to your, your CPR are saying that there is no record to show that this person did this or did that. So how can you retrieve asset if you don't have anything to bag your asset retrieval? If you come in to accuse me, you should have, you accuse me say I'm a criminal. And you got to go prove in court that I am a criminal. You should have record to show that Vasco is a criminal. And they, no. I'm telling you, all these guys are on the asset recovery team. You think why does why you, do you think that citizens now try to uh, recover asset? It's not a small thing. You listen to uh, and they so, 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 so wait, 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 Vasco. Because because your government, because the CDC government failed, they sell this whole asset recovery team. No, no, it's, uh, and they failed. So you think the unit the party cannot do it? There was that recover. There was a lot of money that will recover. How, how, how much exactly did the CDC? I cannot, record? I cannot, I cannot oh, announce the figure right okay, now. But, but, but then you can't convince us. But you said that you say the government recover assets. No, money and you can't convince us. But then, but then, Nelson, mm -hmm. listen, there was money that was retrieved. Okay? 
you we all we, we were here Why are you listen to Arthur Johnson. We listen to Arthur Johnson. Arthur Johnson was pushing hmm. he needed a group a renowned international friend that in the business of retrieving assets they did it to other countries around the world and those were the people he was trying to bring in to help the government to retrieve assets but that's but not retrieve the government not bring in, that's not retrieve not bring vasco in my gongwa there vasco you say no so, 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 no you, for instance you, you're you, interrupting the brother for instance you're interrupting the brother but 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 what you're saying here vasco is you you are more like discrediting the folks here because maybe you know them Maybe because you know Imanda Gongwe and he been a man, a man around here, and then you saw the man when you were doing a battle cry thing, so you're discrediting him. Imanda Gongwe is not an ordinary person in Liberia now. You may know him yesterday. <laughs> you may have a record of Imanda Gongwe. Maybe he was wearing EFFL militant uniform. Definitely. He is an official of government, as we speak, at Do the Ministry have... of Transport. Let us see. Do Imaya Gongwe have the right to see somebody texting? Is texting <laughs> thank you, Vasco. government asset? Thank, thank you, Vasco. Let, let, let's hold you texting, there. Is texting government let, asset? Let's let, let's hold you there. Uh, uh, Mika, one, please go ahead, sir. Let's hear you. <laughs> Hello, gentlemen. You know, I was I was open late today, and I'm sorry for that. I know you're gonna be a good show tonight. And the topic on that discussion is a very unique one. And looking at what Mr. Ability posted here, technically for me, I like it just from reading from it. You understand? But the context in which people using it or Mr. Ability probably intention of writing it was not what I'm thinking. Well, Mr. Ability is basically, you know, giving an advice here. You understand? Mm. Like trying to give them some way how to go about recovering these assets. Number one, Mr. Ability is saying, listen, guys, if you got to know some of those people who already have government property that you are going to recover, send this piece of note. You understand? Maybe the respect sake of it. Just send a piece of note that, my man, five uh, or two weeks from now or three days from now, whatever you got for the government, can you return it to us? You understand? Send it to them. That I mean, that's a kind of service of respect I guess Mr. Ability is saying those people should give it to those people that have the property, number one. On the other hand, Mr. Ability is saying the men are making an announcement. They might not have your name. They might not know what you have the government property. Can you please kind of return them before they can embarrass you if they have to know? Because first of all, they're going out there giving an announcement. They're not giving an announcement to specific people because they don't know those who all have the thing. And Mary Bro not doing all no justice. For God's sake, she is the uh, 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 GSA manager, whatever you can describe her, and she's not doing the government no justice. You know what you get who? You got a record. Why can't you kind of thing in a record to those guys? I did not prepare a little note, just for respect sake and for country building sake, send it to those guys. Listen, gentlemen, this property that you have, I mean, it sounds like redundant. Don't get me wrong, because they are grown people that's all know better. But yes, still, yes, still, where your rights end, somebody won't begin from there. So at least, yes, there's a respect of it. Send those notes out and give them some time because you already know them. That Vasco is them. Somebody was saying, we don't know some, the, some of the paper being, you know, tuned up, being, you know, lost. We don't even know who has them. But there's a person who were in charge. That's supposed to know all those people who has it. You understand? So that way I'm coming from what Mr. What Mr. Ability wrote on a road. And, and, and the whole the whole idea about it is, gentlemen, don't don't wait to be disgraced. Bring the car, or don't just go after people because you know they get a property. Reach out to them individually and call but, them. But, 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 me, 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 come on. Is there any reason for someone to believe that this is an advice? Is this an advice mm -hmm. or a mockery? Now, I, I'm, I'm going to, for the sake of this, I'll put this post up mm -hmm. and I'll read it again for the last time as we make our transition. We have to move on to the next talking point. Yes. But this is what he wrote. The chairman, Musa Hassan Bilite, the honorable lawmaker. Yes. Don't rush with asset recovery. 
Yes. First, establish the lost asset and publish it. Ask those in in uh, ask those in possession to return or face prosecution. Right. Announcement right. now. Mm -hmm. And begin to search for specific assets of government that are lost. Yes. That 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 that, that is. Stop. Okay, so that one, the first portion I advised, right? Right. I mean, we already know what we. Okay. What, so the first portion I advised. Let, let us move to the second portion. Yeah, Mikhail. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. He says, "Stop this nonsense mm -hmm. of posting peso of of stopping peso mm -hmm. citizens and asking mm -hmm. them to establish their ownership of their vehicle. The government right. must first establish the asset laws before it can start to search for them. Come on, fellows." Well, you know that you particular came, portion. You came with experience. This is the portion. Right. That, that you portion. With experience. Use it. Stop making a mockery of a well-intentioned process. I think you meant to say intended process. Intention. Yeah, well-intentioned process. But, but but this is it. Is there any reason to believe that this, this is an, an, an advice? Well, like I said, bit and piece of it. Is advised. Some of it is speaking out of anger or wherever you're coming from with you know, intentions, in the midst of way, emotions. You understand? Because you feel that whoever was stopping the street, how people that were stopping the street today were not, it was not the proper way to do it. But if you ask it, as a recovery team, it would tell you, but listen, we've been giving the announcement of what, three weeks ago, two weeks ago. So everybody got that, that little bacon piece and take, yeah. You understand? But the mm. point I'm trying to make as a president, as a Liberian is, let's do it respectfully. Although we know, we don't know who all own the access. You understand? Don't go, let's send a little piece of note to people that we know that mm. own the access. And again, people that we don't know, you don't wait until we find you. And we find you in the street like this, you will be embarrassed. Just bring them. If you have paper for them, we can go the, through the legal process. He said, listen, my gentleman, I have it. But this is the paper I have for you. Buddy. Thank you. You Thank understand? You. Thank so you, that, that alone, Wait. you know, it creates some respect for both things. But you cannot Thank blame you. them fully of what they're doing right now. Because why? They've been making an announcement. For no, God's no, sake. No, no, nothing. Just quickly. The thing that doesn't make any sense. Part of his letter makes sense. But the part he's talking about letting people know this. It makes no sense. First of all, if you are in possession of government uh, vehicle, before even leaving office, you're supposed to turn that in. The moment you took that with you, you become a criminal. So Shimon Musa Bede, who is a lawmaker, for not trying to enforce the law and saying, oh, the people that already stole the government vehicle, so you should send them letter or you should beg them to bring it back or you under face prosecution. It makes zero sense. The moment they left office and they took those vehicles, knowing that the shoe are left in there, they became criminal. It's like calling the criminal and stole your shoe. My man, please bring my shoe that you stole. No, now I'm coming to prosecute you. I'm not asking you anymore. So he's a lawmaker. He should know better than to write such a letter. Part of it makes sense, but part of it doesn't make any sense and he want to talk about nonsense. That's nonsense for saying somebody that stole a vehicle, you should send them a letter in the mail to ask them to bring it back. It makes zero sense. They are criminals already. Arrest them. That's why they should, he should be talking about. Go Thank and you. arrest those people that you know. Let me just make a quick point, Nessie. Uh, Francis, I don't think they are, I don't think they stole it. We know who has it. You no, understand? You you it. You, you, it on it. It. you hold it onto property that is not belong to you. I don't That's think I, I don't consider it as a stealing. Remember now, the guys were, 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 was the minister, was the director, and I think I know they were the when the, you leave the, office, you leave the chair. The chair. You know? But you take the chair or you, you stole it. So when you're leaving, so pack the car to GSA and just go by your belly. You out of office. But the moment you took that car with you. And you still use it for your present, you stole it. There's no way to put it around it. I think that's the procedure to all you. those things. You understand? Like when you leave office, we know you got things in the car. You probably want to clean it and take your thing out after a couple of weeks or so. Return. Let me come here. Let me come here. How long has it been? How long has it been since the government uh took office? They need a minute. Maybe they just abuse they just abusing the low, you know. That's right right there. Right there. Let's assume, let's assume those people want to clean the car. You want to make sure you, 
take your belongings. You wax it, everything. Does it take, take two months to month? remove your belongings on the car? Two months? I, I mean, I'm not saying how, that the how heavy, how heavy are those items that you want to remove from the class? What's the weight of those materials? Let me make myself clear. I have to give you two months. No, let me make myself clear. I don't, I, I'm not saying the that. Car. Let me make myself clear now. I'm not saying the mm. lemon time that I kept the car for is necessary. Okay. But I'm saying there was a mm. time frame that they were mm. supposed to take the car home, take that belonging, get it clean, okay. and get it back to the government. Now they okay. abuse the little time they are giving them. You understand? That time so frame before point they time, left office, not after, before they left office. That was the time frame. But when you leave, you know, like, the day you the leave now, anything you know, take that stealing. Well, you can you can put it that way if you want to, but you know, and, and this is interesting. Cool, you know, this is very interesting. Doris yeah. Thomas said it only takes <laughs> 10 minutes. <laughs> Yeah, man. Grab your door. I feel bad. Your gunner must go. Put that to the inside. Yes, right this is interesting. Doris Thomas said it only takes 10 minutes to take your belongings from the car. <laughs> I know some the car. They tell you two days to clean up. They live inside. My friends, is, you know, my like friend better abuse every little opportunity to give them. That's the battle line. What was it? Or Pasco, they Pasco, they get plenty in the car. Pasco, they get in the car, so it takes one week. Pasco, they get plenty in the car. They get to the car. To retrieve all them. The reason why they will not go, they will not go, they will not go, uh, 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 Mary Brown was the same person that was there. When they were leaving power, but now let's all, all be here responsible. You know, all the criminal, yeah. you know, all the put in a store. The one gave the people my When around. CDC came to power, the same old thing. CDC came to power. I agree, Vasco. She can whip the, the surveillance, the common push, she can whip them to honestly be tough. But then when, when the people that actually once put on my own, they might can't kill me. But when she doesn't go for LEC, she's in ordinary yeah. Nigeria, she'll be abusing them. Yes. Abusing them. But she can't do it to a common yeah. official. Me, if 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 I if I were Honorable Braga or, or Mr. President Braga, that he that she didn't want I, I was someone to my office. Go bring all the assets. I, I, I dare you. Like you have. Go bring the list to me and get, give me every name that you assigned the vehicle to, or you give them the government property and clean them, and bring back to because that's that's a job. Mary, it, I'm gonna the LCC team can be talking here. LCC say now you're looking for asset recovery team. Why we always rewind people free money and not doing that job? Oh, oh my like God. Today, like today, looking at ACC. But, my man, I've been saying the thing for the time. Oh, no, no, in the country. I've been saying the thing for the time. You're on the show. And it's look at them. We look at assets with currency doing that job. Like, why are we paying them? Political people, they say, you're going to retreat assets. Today, suddenly, that join the street and directing traffic. Oh, that's at ACC job right there. But they're not doing nothing. You know, when you call the chicken neck, the way it can just be running. Now the government looking. No hate. No, no, no the government won't. The judge you you are there with dogs. I started the edge. You know, and you know, 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 no, 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 no. Y'all no. just didn't care. Y'all figure. We did not do the laboratory. No, we are talking about the poor talk of flow money off on the floor. Basco, you're talking about the poor years. So you're not care for anything people did. You're not going to do your own. Y'all garbage. Guys, let's do this. Let's do this. Basco, Basco, conclude. 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 Basco, and, and you know, this country, the United Party got to be very careful. On a serious note, Liberians are very Make careful. Make it all, let's say, we're not hearing you. We're all not the hearing you. That you alone talking is. So, 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 I'm glad that I can do <laughs> Guys, <laughs> look, Liberia is a very small yeah. country. Mm -hmm. If you want to do something, do it right. If you're doing this thing like you're trying to wish home power, nobody being powerful everlasting. CDC was dead, they will left. Ellie was dead for two years, she left. What these people doing, if they continue this behavior in our country, I just look at Liberia to just be a sport place. Because tomorrow, if they tear, tear around, even if you, you are in government, you got your prop property, 
uh, uh, on the ref voting, they will come after you. No, Basco, don't tell them. My man, like give me no, but the way you address yeah, it, yeah, 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 Papa, let, let's protect Vasco. Okay, Vasco, give me, Vasco. Vasco. Give me sorry, chair, sorry. Meet, meet yourself. I'm telling you something. I'm looking at reality. <laughs> yeah. If you, what are you doing? You want to do it, do it right. When you're going for people, then the whole country will say yes. The people got all the evidence and going for the men and Jew. But the way you're doing it, you just look at one group of people. That's the reason why I'm telling you, you say you want to start it as a recovery. If you read a serial, go back to your own government. When you start dealing with your own people and start dealing with the other people in the other government, nobody will say for it. No, no, Baka is very serious. That's what we've been saying. But if you continue on their path, even the president Baka, eh, continue like this. Hey, children, when citizens come back to power or any other government come out of power, this this will be the same thing. It would it will just be the trend in Liberia. Government the government can kind of wish on people. The other government can wish on the other group of people. So we can be careful. If Boaka will set the precedent, then you do it the right way. And then you do it, everybody say, yes, this is the process. Don't just go, go, go at one group of people. Because what happened today on our street, it was very terrible. That is not the way to do it. Today, what they did, they were very wrong, and they could be sued for it. You knew how to do it. I couldn't do nothing. But, but you but understand? It, but the they main point for it. But the, but the focus remains the same. The one thing we're all supposed to know is the process has started. We will be are we saying, it as are we we saying on. don't do your so, asset recovery? We are not saying don't do your asset recovery. No, this, but listen we to me. I'm telling you, if you want to do the asset recovery, let it be void of wish on. If you do it in a form and manner, because that Pina Bono um, certain taxes passing around, you don't know how she got her money. They got banks in Liberia that credit people. Do you know what information the people uh, have gathered already? What information they got? They got information for telling the, the job of the airport bring the document for the people. Don't calculate from the bullet. Why they the can't get a paycheck for the last six years? They can't even build one house. But you got a public complex. Okay, so 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 guys, we, we have to make a transition. Um, let's let's make this uh quick transition here. Um <clears throat> You know, the, the discussion around the war and economic crimes court is deepening by the day. Every single day, the conversation takes another stage. It moves to another stage, moves to another level, and uh, it's going on. Well, there were, there, there's a very important uh, statement. I want to put a statement up. A press... Uh, Statement from um, the U.S. Congressman Chris Smith, and I want to make sure that this is up. All right, so uh, the font size is small, but once you zoom it in, you're gonna see it clearer. So <clears throat> I'm gonna read this one. It says, "U.S. Congressman Chris Smith, Chair of the House of the House uh, Subcommittee on Global Health." Global Human Rights and International Organizations today issued the following statement regarding the need to establish a war and economic crimes court in Liberia to help address, to help uh, redress the wounds of the country's civil war. In recent decades, Liberia's people have suffered untold human rights violations, economic crimes, while perpetrators acted with near complete impunity during the country's multiple civil wars. Since that time, minimal efforts have been made in Liberia to address those crimes. Notwithstanding, a recommendation in 2009 by the Truth and Reconciliation Commission to establish a court in suit, uh, ensure, uh, to ensure justice. As a presidential candidate, Joseph Bwakai stated repeatedly that a war in economic crimes court, that, that the Congress may talking so, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. as a presidential candidate, Joseph Bwakai stated that a war in economic crimes court needed to be established for the Liberian people to end impunity for the nation to heal. In his inaugural address 
President Brakai then committed to pursue the establishment of War and Economic Crimes Court to provide an opportunity for those who bear the greatest responsibility for war crimes and crimes against humanity to account for their actions in court. Since President Brakai assumed office, the local and international communities, including the U.S., have eagerly awaited the establishment of the court. No, I, I, I got to read this portion again. I'll read it again. Since President Barker assumed office, the local and international communities, including the U.S., have eagerly anticipated the establishment of the court. This promise was made to the Liberian people who want real change, they desire democracy, human rights, and justice. The U.S. Congressman is also closely monitoring establishment of this court. Uh, sorry, the U.S. Congress, because of the Congressman speaking here now. So he's saying the ballot is part of the U.S. Congress is also closely monitoring the establishment of this court as a way to advance, uh, as a way to advance good governance and healing for the people of Liberia. We have long supported Liberia with foreign aid, providing over 160 million United States dollars in 2023 alone, and more than 4 billion over the last 20 years. There must be justice and accountability for the people of Liberia, establishing the promised war crimes and economic crimes court is necessary. Critical step for assuring lasting peace and the people's confidence in the rule of law and the fair blah, 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 blah. I don't see the rest of it there. But this is the U.S. Congressman speaking, Chris Smith. I mean, you listen to the comment. You listen to the statement, you know, he pulled up. Same President Barker made a promise to campaign. Look, the U.S. Congress may went all the way to campaign period. Holding President Barker by his word during the campaign, all the things he said about war and economic crimes court. Coming back to say that he and the entire U.S. Congress, the people of America, they've been watching eagerly with eagle eye, you know, that, that kind of eye when you're looking at something, you're not bopping your eye, you won't get something out of it. Mm -hmm. Says he has, he has some office two months. The people been looking, they are not bopping. They've been looking carefully. President Barker, you established this call or not? I mean, and, and you, you, you saw the rest of the statement. Let, let's make some analysis around this thing. He said they spent, in, 20, in 2023 alone, they spent 163 million on Liberia. They play a more air, they play a money air that they play a more can be. So this is where we are. Let's start the conversation from here. Um, our brother uh Peter Suarez. Peter, you just come on Rudolf King from eating now. You see him, you know, but it's it's okay. Peter, Peter, Hello, start the conversation you. since you just joining us. Let's hear you. Well, thank you very much, Nessie. And let me say hi to each and everyone on the platform. And to well many Liberian listening back in Liberia and all around the world. You know, um, before I go to that, that statement quickly, um, basically we want to clear the airway. You know, I'm like grieving uh, at the backstage, listening to some of the information provided as regard to the asset recovery. Quickly, I want to provide free clarity. When I said, we have asset recovery. I mean, but you, 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 you know what you did to me before bringing me on the platform tonight. So you gotta right. give me a change. You can't you, treat me you, like that. Take, take, no, 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 no. Take twenty second, take twenty second as a recovery because quickly, we have to go quickly, quickly. And you even brought me on the platform where I didn't recognize my president before making transition. But happy here, that's it. You know, it is very important that son, we we gave information 
void of sentiment and void of, of let's say political affiliation. Vasco, you sat on a platform, you told all that the CDC led government retreat asset, but you cannot perceive it, show any evidence or point to any time that the CDC retrieved asset. The CDC make a progress as related to asset recovery. They were on the verge of retreating assets when the, when the asset recovery team dissolved. That information was given to all about Serena C4, who were heading the asset recovery team. He said, if this government is really on the trends of ret uh, retrieving assets, they should go Italy now. There is a nine million inbox waiting for them to retreat. So let's provide that the government, the, the past government did not give any amount or did not retrieve any assets are related to the progress they were making. Somebody talk about the issue of uh, asset recovering people being in the street. When they say teamwork, when you see that list of asset recovery, the thing that President Boaga and now, the LMP is a part of that thing. So for you to just sit on the platform and tell the librarian people who is Emmanuel Gunga and other folks to arrest car and not seeing the effort of LMP, that is disgusting. It is very disingenuous. So it is obvious that we come from our political aspect and we should drive of these too many sentiments when it comes to this sensitive issue. So on the issues of uh, Chris May, who the CDC-led government called, um, I think there are several statements against the individual that he is an opposition and one who supported <laughs> the opposition, but then when he came out with some critical analysis on war and economic current code. And part of the, the, the very statement you are reading, Nessing, that statement point out that there was said a month that he talked about one point something million that they gave the government, but then that the CDC led government in ensuring that they has the, the war and economic crank code. That reflect me back to the statement I made on the platform that war and economic crank code is not just something that's gonna come overnight, right? We said that. And the issue of a war and economic crank code is not restricted to Liberian supporting it. The international community is fully. The statement talking about being ego, that ego, that ego, that ego, you stick aspect of the, the issue of the court coming. It is something I think the government should look at. And when I listen to the interview that Mr. Boaka has with the Chris May, it clearly speaks that the government is in progress of getting the war in economic crime. But what we want to say is mostly we have seen the three talks. We have seen uh, a lot of statements as regard to what economic crank where it goes to the house, the both house, the lower and the upper house, the executive, there's a lot of politics around it. So if, if this government should get a certain level of respect from the international community, especially the US, you should ensure that that quote should come in your regime. We have always told the Liberian people that President Boga will be a legacy president because there is one man who is now thinking about being re-elected, that people will say, oh, do not do this thing to somebody because you want to respect their dignity and stuff. I mean, sometimes when common people still, we call them rogue, or common people do something, we we malaise them, we demolate them, we punish them in a funny manner. Why, why is it with other people who serve in government that they cannot be put out of to say, okay, this is what you get if, if it is not, uh, if it is something that the government is not clear of, you should bring it to life. So the issue about the statement read by you and that was written by Chris May, it is something, it speaks volume that it is a reminder to the government that we are not joking with this. We are eager about it. And I think it should be something that the government should take in place Thank you. in regard to keeping the issue about accountability. It's a right thing. And I think- Thanks a lot. All, Thanks a lot, Bill uh, Thank you. The people say they spend one, a uh, hundred sixty million. One hundred sixty million. Only in twenty twenty three. One hundred sixty million. But again, something you say, I want us to correct. Vas uh, uh, not Vasco, but Bila. They did not say they spend it one hundred sixty two million for the establishment of war and economic crime school. No. Thank you, Nelson. Thank you. That money. Now you. Uh, you record when the U.S. ambassador yeah. raised that concern about the health sector. He said they spend uh, a total annually. They spend a total of uh, a little over sixty, I think sixty-seven million on the health sector alone. And he was disappointed when he went to the rural parts of the country, seeing that the health sectors were uh, the health, the hospitals were out of drugs. 
These are the monies they're talking about. And the other money they pump in other sectors, you know, and stuff like that. That's that's what, but not money they gave to the CDC government. They open the war crime code and they eat the money, they're not open war yeah, crime. Thank you, Nancy. Uh, 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 I mean, you, know, you know, I bet I sweet, my own you that's how <laughs> you don't cry yeah, for man, me. I, I will correct you as well. <laughs> but but, but let's just start it. They like brother, like brother, like. Yeah, I so thank you for the charity. Yeah, I, 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 I hope I hope you can accept I hope some that do you can accept your mistake as well, Vasco. That's being intellectual. Go go ahead, Konya. Let's hear you, sir. No, I was saying, I know everyone is looking at me to say, oh yeah, he's too, he, he is going to go to the war crime code too, because I'm in my you know uh, camouflage this morning. Yeah. Yes, uh, basically, the rule of engagement in every war situation, if the rule of engagement should be observed, the Geneva Convention should be observed. And this is what, these are the things that were lacking during the crisis, during our civil war. And that I think, I believe that there should be a war crime code, war crime code, and economic crime code as well. And that the war crime code should not only start from uh, from 1989 during the um, civil war. I think we should go back to 1979, 1980. Because, Nelson, I don't know how old some of people were when Doe took over. You know, there were a lot of things, you know. Um, I remember my own uncle was killed. A lot of people from my family background were killed, you know. So I think the, the war crime code is essential. The economic crime code is also essential. I think um, if the Liberian people have a referendum and the referendum is positive, we all agree that the war crime code should be established. Of course, I welcome the war crime code, the war crime code, sorry. Uh, if people like us, like me, was involved in atrocity during the war, I should be prosecuted. I should go to, to the court, exonerate myself. You know, so I don't think the World Crime Court should be looked at as wish hunting. You know, because everyone's saying that oh, Prince Johnson, um, uh, Yeke Koluba, or you know, and other people that are still alive because we know that General Johnson is there, Chroma is there. Um, Massacre is there, those that had, you know, the very worry fashion, fashion, sorry. But we have still got people in our midst that we see that actually brought suffering, kill our people, you know, while some of us were very young, we remember, you see. So I support the World Crime Code. And I understand that Lower Horse has already passed, you know, the, 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 the resolution. They have agreed. Yeah, they have agreed. So we are waiting on the upper house, the Senate, to 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 have their input, and then I think we we'll go to the executive, right? And then I think we we'll come down as a referendum. I don't. I'm not too sure why it's going to be like. Whether when the Senate pass it, and then go to the executive, or it has to go to the general public. I mean, the people of Liberia to have a referendum. I don't know really. So you put are more legal modern than me, you know, because me, for me, you know, I'm from the military background, security background. So most of you are legal modern than me, you know. So I welcome the war crime court, the war and Econ economic crime court. If once let me, I was caught in the act of um, uh, um, killing people, or uh, you know, committing atrocity, I should be one of those to go to the war crime court. If I'm Thank found guilty, you. I should serve my penalty. Thank you. Thanks yeah. a lot. Um, yeah, there's something I wanted to say to, to your point, but uh, it escaped yeah. my mind. But uh, uh, yeah, thank you. Um, let's I hear from what talk about the, the, legal, the legal aspect. After the Senate, if, what if the Senate does not uh, uh, approve it? What, what is that? You say no. They, no. They vote. Negative. Well, what are we going to be? Well, what are we going to be? The, the executive will find her way around this thing. Because let me say this. Um, we have a kind of system where, <laughs> yeah, as we say, the executive French, the, the, the executive is the first branch of government, and you know, the, let's say the legislature rather is the first branch of government, the executive judiciary. But 
I must say, the executive in post-war Liberia, records have shown that the executive will always get what they want out of the legislature. You know, the, the executive is more powerful. <laughs> so, I mean, the executive is going to find a way around it. Once that the will is there, the only way this thing is not going to happen is when the will is not there. When President Barca decides, say, okay, I will just play this thing around like, like President George, we are dead. You know, when he came to him, he said, okay, let, let the legislature advise. You know, legislature kept advising. We don't know how the advice turned out, whether there was uh, a very good advice that came out or whatever. But if the political will is there, it's going to happen. But let's hear from Vasco. You know, Vasco is the only person I've seen. The man was miserably, massively, and miserably defeated in the just in the election. But the man drinking in Jolly Jolly Cup. What what was it? What's what's the is there a mob? Let, let me see the mob. <laughs> jolly. No, no, there's a writing on that thing. What? Jolly Jolly? How can you be? Oh, okay, 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 okay. But 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 go ahead, Vasco. Let's hear you. You are muted. Thank you. During a campaign, we said something about the age of the president. That people at that level, hmm, they don't really remember things that they say or things that happen. <laughs> and 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 this is look, I told you people during that campaign, most of the things Barack the president was saying, he don't remember them again. And you see, the American people they are very smart. And if the United Party people play with this, this will be the downfall. <laughs> because the uh, Baka have given these people the assurance. I don't know what he what he can still remember the discussion he had with with, with Ali Wai. You know what Ali Wai? Listen to that discussion. Ali Wai was picking from the president mouth. And after that interview with Ali Wai or with the president, Ali Wai went back. I listened to him on another show on SKTV. He said, if the president is serious, he should sign an executive order. Either way, came to Liberia to get information. They carry to his boss, got, uh, Chris and they are the, the bosses, they work together. So, like, if you listen to the president doing his inaugural speech, he mentioned Walker and Code. He mentioned Walker and Code doing the campaign. But do a state of the nation address after Prince Joseph when he judge and made that statement? The president never talked about the war crime issue any longer. Do a state of the nation address. And since that day, the president has never spoken about the issue of the war crime code. And if, if this president is serious for this thing, and these are some of the reasons why he won the election. We in the CDC, we know some of the things that happen. Why you know that happen? You understand? We know some of the well, well, no, what, 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 so what things. Some of the things that happen. No, the Liberian people deserve to know. What are some of the things that happen? Vasco, no. a war crime call could make somebody to win election. Why are you just giving the war crime call and win the election? Let's see. When you read, when you read that, when you read that statement, it will tell you that even prior to campaigning process, Baka and these people have been going through some communication. You saw the thing with Henry Costa, who has does, does the statement was, indicate anything of such like what okay. you're saying? The statement does not say anything like the president having any conversation with the people. Now, the yeah. statement said the statement of uh, uh, the, the congressman Chris Smith went on to mention that President Barca now, during campaign, during campaign, mentioned the issue of establishment of war and economic crimes code. So he was reminding the president of the very promises he made during the campaign. All right? So this is a statement here, Vasco. The statement that the, the congressman did not say that he and President Barca have been having conversation around war crimes code and all of that. No. 
I know what I'm This is the portion. It says in his inaugural address, mm -hmm. President Barker then committed to to pursue the establishment of war and economic crimes court to provide an opportunity for those who bear the greatest responsibility of war crimes and crimes against humanity to account for their actions in court. It didn't say he went to meeting but and I'm, say, I'm and speaking, he gave his word. I'm speaking out of that letter right now. No, because, but let, no, they're not speaking a letter of Vasco because no, they're, they're not in the letter. But let's see, let, let me lay now. You're taking my time. Okay, go ahead. Let's see. I don't know why. I ain't, we, I'm here. I don't know why. And Henry Costa. We all know Henry Costa no, but, was but the you one leaving Chris Pave now. You're going to Allen Way. But anyway, go no, ahead. No, no, no. It was Allen Way. You know, so Allen Way with Costa. You know, yeah, so but the, the statement, the statement know, we so put up is uh, uh is, is is a statement I from know Chris, Chris Smith. Smith. No, but yeah. these are the people are working together. Ali White, Chris Smith. Chris Smith is the one. He's he he's, he's a lawmaker, right? Ali White is the one. He's the female. He move around. He like the point man. That's why he saw you in Liberia. He said, "Mr. President, you sent for me." So. When you saw Chris and uh, 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 Ali went with Costa, then. when you saw Costa telling the Liberian people that so 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 town, there will be censure on their person, calling names. These are some of the things that were happening beyond closed door. To weaken the CDC, to make the CDC law awkward in the eyes of the Liberian people. And today they have gotten what they wanted. So they are a little bit disappointed right now. Because the thing is that right after the man won or uh, win the election, this will be one of the first things on his mind. But apparently now they are calling him that the same way he did to Prince Johnson, he blocked Prince Johnson number, he don't talk to Prince Johnson anymore. Apparently the same thing, from, same thing happening to these people now. They're reaching out to him, he's not responding, he's not saying anything. So now the people are coming on now. So, they, so Vasco, they, Vasco. Yeah, on, on, on national radio, definitely on the radio. More yeah. than more, more than four radio stations carrying the team. We're talking to now. Forget yeah. the numbers you see on YouTube, on Facebook, on on Fiber TV, Spoon TV, and all the thing. More than three, four radio stations carrying the team. We're talking to now, Vasco. Definitely, Vasco. If the president mm -hmm. has neglected all the conversation, all his own promises he made with respect to war crimes code. Yeah. Now, I don't know why you're dragging Senator Prince Johnson in this thing, but if the president has neglected everything he promised, like you're saying, yeah. why do we have a resolution now that has passed through the, the, the lower house? It has gone all the way, it has made its way at the, at, the, at the Senate. If not for the break the Senate went on, then by this time, that whole conversation about war crimes go at the level of the Senate, they will go and pass that thing. How long? How long did it stay in the in the in the in the lower house? It didn't even make a day. It didn't even make a day. I tried to put it on the floor to pass it. What was in the Senate? It was about three days, you know, that process. Yeah, but just conclude Vasco. So we take uh we take what was in the Senate. So that's what I'm saying. Most of the conversation, most of the things the president been saying, the president have forgotten some of the statement he made. This is the result of old age. It happened. So the people that are around him need to keep telling him that look. This so, 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 me, as, do you want to get old someday? Do, do you want to get old, let, let reach the age of President Bakai? You, you want to get old someday? I'll, 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 I'll even pass, pass, pass his age. <laughs> I will pass this. Thank you, man. <laughs> you know, Vasco, you are very interesting. I will pass this. I, I don't want to. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Princess, yeah. let's hear you. <laughs> now, let me throw the team. The vice president said the team. My man, the this Vasco guy. <sighs> my man. The guy's a drama. Every day the opposite day, Vasco here when he talk. Because how you say somebody, oh, they can't remember something. But as soon as the man came or the man is inaugurated, less than a month and a half, a resolution has been passed to the House. And it's waiting for the Senate to come back uh, uh, for recess to, uh, to to vote on it. And then you're talking about, oh, the people say if the man's serious, he might have an executive order. No. 
You probably know when you play pop uh, uh, spades, you get a trump card. You probably know the executive order that he trump card. So you put it in your back pocket. Then the resolution already passed the, uh, the, the house. When the Senate can play for it, with it, probably know the last resort, you will pull a trump card and play his executive order and get this thing going. But I'm not even going to do, uh, give too much talk into what Vasco said, but I'm going to talk directly to the library people. Liberal people, you yeah, yeah, talk about you yeah, some of your representatives say, oh, yeah, let wait, let's talk about the bread and butter issue first. I leave down the line in, in, in administration, then you can bring it. I can tell you right now, if that court, if, if it's not passed this year, and the process starts this year, I can tell you there will be no appetite for it down the line. And if it doesn't happen under the public uh, president Parker administration, it will never happen. If you think Raspberry will be cheap, oh, let's bring Raspberry down so our car can be full. Let's bring gas price down so we can be able to, to, to drive our car in. They're suffering our kind of labura. And yeah, what Chris and uh, the lawmaker of the US Congress saying, don't bite the hand I feed you. These people will not keep giving us money, keep giving us money supporting our country. If the if the thing that what the thing is best for us, we think we know better than them. No amount rice price go to two dollar fifty cent a cup, it will not bring back the two hundred fifty thousand plus people that die. The white economic crown court is not just there to, to drag people to jail; it's as serve as a, as a deterrent. So other would be love a rebel leader or people that want to say, oh. I don't let what I do to my people. Let me go take going car and kill over two hundred fifty thousand people too. They will think twice when they see that uncle and enter there, rotting in jail. That's why it's about. It's also to bring healing to the country, and to and also to that particular thing. When the war economic crime code come and is established, and people are held accountable, it doesn't mean other people on the list they are guilty. So, no. uh, uh, Vasco, Vasco. Uh, reading I everything I oh, sorry um uh, yeah francis francis <laughs> yeah. i know you don't like to be called vasco but <laughs> but, 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 but reading everything that's captured in the um the statement coming from congressman chris smith do you sense any pressure from the u.s government on the president of liberia for this whole war crimes code thing yeah especially the portion where he said especially the portion where he said <clears throat> there's somewhere here where he said um since President Braca assumed office, the local and international communities, including, you know, because when you say, first of all, we know that Liberia is a donor-reliant country. We rely on our international part partners, the international community for a whole lot, right? And usually when you say the international community, any level-headed librarian know exactly that you're talking about all oh, our international partners, including the U.S. But he went on, he went a bit further, a step further by being specific. He said, the local and international communities, including the U.S., have eagerly, eagerly awaited the establishment of the court. This promise was made to the Liberian people who want real change, the desired democracy, human rights, and justice. Do, do, do you see any pressure here from the US government on the Liberian government with this yes. whole war crime school thing? Nothing. This is this I mean, sure is the last bus stop for this thing to be established. The US government, one, let me just point out that you, when you talk about the international community, the US government is our biggest donor. So it's our biggest donor. So the, the people know that Ellen Johnson said he was not going to bring it because she herself was going to be dragged there to answer a question. So she will not report herself. Josh Weir, uh, there's a uh, stock that he supported, I think, Model or something else. So he may answer a question. So people know that it will not happen. But since no President Barker did not participate or there's no evidence of him participating in any of these things, they know it is the last bus stop. And remember, imagine, when somebody tells you nothing, I'm not paying a school fee every year. You just, you just be failing in class. You just be failing in class. That's a threat. You, he need over four hundred billion dollars in the last twenty years. He tell he remind the people. 
I'm going to keep giving you up. I'm going to keep giving you up. Y'all can keep backing us. And I don't want to do what, what's right for you. Yeah, and, and, and that's a, that's a, that's you, a very you, important you point. Remember, you remember four, four, uh, sorry. Four, 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 I mean, a four billion and also hundred and sixty-seven thousand just last year that they spent. He's even trying to tell us the Congress and then LeBron Congress, LeBron lawmaker, U.S. Congress before money go anywhere, they have to pass it, including in their budget. So they were saying, and, and, and this is right for the sake of this point you're making. Let me just read this portion, and, and you're right, and maybe someone is is wondering, uh. What exactly is that thing that was in the mind of the U.S. congressman when he brought in the support that the U.S. government has been giving Liberia over the years? Number one, he said the U.S. government is eagerly anticipating the establishment of this court. Secondly, he said, you, the president of this country, you promised this court. Then he comes back to say, this country that you are president of we have been supporting this country. And here's what the, 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 uh, Chris Smith said. He said, we have long supported Liberia with foreign aid providing over 162 million in 2023 and more than 4 billion over the last 20 years. He's calling for this war in economic crimes court. But have anyone ever thought why the congressman how to bring in the support but nothing that's what i'm saying just so i wrap it up because all people can go the people know that any was not going to bring it just where i was not going to bring it so the 10 percent of Baka, you already inherited a rotting economy a rotting uh, uh, economy right now you broke beyond repair you're not coming back me for nothing i'll not give you anything if you don't do what we ask and i don't care if they want to if other people want to call it bullying let the U.S. government bully the hell out of Liberia to establish a war in crime code. And I can tell you, Liberian people, you're listening before I wrap up. Call your senator and your representative. Tell them you want it. Tell them it doesn't matter if any of the people on the list are not, for, are for not guilty. That's fine. We're okay with it. But let it be established. Threaten them to vote them out. Because if it doesn't happen this, if it's not established or, or the resolution passed, to, uh, to uh, go into law and establish the court this year, there will be no appetite. You know, like, bro, we got short memory. Even during the war, even our okay, memory was September 18. When they shoot, boom, 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 everybody running hard. By the time the gunfire stopped and little music playing in there, little shop here, people go to the thinking they forget about war. So if, the, if this stuff doesn't happen in this 2024 to say that we're going to have that court, I can tell you there will be no appetite two, three years from now. And we'll still be talking about, oh, let that hurry and bring rest price down. It will not happen to President Barker. It will never happen. And the year government should leave us alone. Let us suffer. So we enjoy people dying. People, you know who died? The 250,000 plus people? That could be some of our doctors, some of our scientists, some of our engineers, but they since they were killed. So let we suffer. Let America government leave us. Let Congress, the year Congress, refuse to put any funding. In any of the budget to help like bro, let us suffer if we don't pass. No, 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 don't, don't, don't say us, don't say us, don't say us. You know, yeah, say let Nelson is <laughs> no, but any of the people that are voting, any of the people that are voting, let us suffer. Let us suffer. Let us suffer. Let us sit down there and let us love the guy that have been getting thousands of dollars, hundreds of dollars every year. Play for our with the country. This is this is a serious issue. Uh, let's hear from you now. Mikael, no, no, you, 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 you're not making an input on this discussion. Right after you go to the line, uh, what? I the librarian people say no. they've heard you now. Where you are going, my time, my time. Mikael, well, you know, gentlemen, you know, when American man is speaking or saying thing, making point, those guys do constructive argument. They don't just go around and play, but, but jumping here and there. Everything uh, Mr. Smith is making mention to is being properly documented. That where they're coming from. Number one, if you get if you do the math right, that means right after Chancellor left Liberia, America started supporting Liberia 40 from 2004 up to nice 20 years. That's the period he's speaking in. Now, with, from from 2004 
to 2009 within a four-year period, it means a five-year period, there was a true and reconciliation commissions that were held in Liberia for people to come and confess to Liberian people, you know, the, what they did in the war, the, and the part they play in the war. And that's, that commission was established. We hear people came and confessed their sin and all that. Now, from that day, they recommended Liberia to have war crime and economic crime court. Now, the the me one of the, the, the key thing on this whole issue that we all were just preaching the war crime, the war crime, the war crime is the economic crime court. Because even the war are fought that today today 250 people lost their life. It all based on the economic crime side of it, because it's corruption that brought some of the war. And if, if you go back, we're not old enough to remember all the things that happened in the 70s coming down to the 80s. If you, if you just bake and piece them together, that's what led to this war. So they're not forgetting that. Eddie Jones said he had the privilege, the money to establish a war. Well, she looked at it and, 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 and beat it on the other side of it. Because some way, somehow, I think she saw her shadow in the water and she got away from it. Now, George Weah then preached the whole campaign around the thing. You know, Ellen stole our money. You know, they had cast on that hey, more river passing around to bring a sequel we're talking about. The Vasco there. Yes, Vasco there. I don't know where you're going. So you can be here, so you can hear me right. When, 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 when my people out there get to that place, that day, Mr. President was walking down to the Capitol Hill when a journalist, I don't know the guy's name, approached him right to the door and said, Mr. President, that George right now, are you still bringing the war crime code? He stood there and told the man, my mother prayer book, or my mother Bible. That way he told the man walking. He did not make no... Uh, uh, Mr. President, Diamond Slanger for Spoon FM. Yeah. Um, the speech caused a, a lot of uproar in Liberia, especially with the portion that had to do with the war crimes court where you mm -hmm. made Liberia's case. What should Liberians expect from that particular portion but of the speech? I, I, you know, I just, I just stayed there. I don't understand what you want. Since we came to power, I have not one day called for war crime court. You, the journalist, called for war crime court. Liberians are calling for war crime court. Both the victims and the perpetrators are calling for a war crime court. What I did is to explain to them why now. So if you don't understand my English, then you need to go back to the speech and then you read it well. Yes. You calling for a war crime court, I say now why this time? <laughs> when we have an economic issue, we're trying to develop our country, why focus on the war crime court now? Why you did, you did not focus on it? 12 years ago. And those people that were part of the entire process of what happened to us, they left the 12 years. So what now? Is that what you want? Okay, then we send it to the legislature. And then so librarian can talk about it. I think it's important. Well, you see, that's a leader that's a leader speech. Wait, wait, now. Nah. You're not in the show. He can't pay all the money. Just, 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 no, 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 my man, I'm to the 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The the point I'm trying to make, my man, Nessie was just uh, okay, okay, okay. uh, Mikael, me, me, um, please hold on a bit. Pastor, what did this guy say that's not true? They may say, when somebody asked George Ria about this walk around court, and George Ria told the person, my more than a prayer book or so. not Bible. No, yeah, my mother. Hey, 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 Vasco, that's the reason is why I thought said? to play that video so the audience can know exactly what President We have said. That's why I immediately when he said the president said my mother and Bible, I played the video. No, so the say, that's not the video. That is not cheating the benefit. That is not the video you're talking about. Okay, let's do this. Guys, let's do this. This is a recent video, bro. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Mikael, do you have the video? Can you share the video? The particular I, video where I will look for it, it yeah. to me, but I don't have on the world. Let me make my point. Let me make my okay, point. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yes. 
He said it. When I'm not gonna pay for anything, you're sipping a thing. No, 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 no. Uh, 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 Bila, we are on radio. We have to be careful what we say. Once I can have that video, trust me, I will play it. I will play the video. And anyone watching now, if you have the video, you can share with me as well. Reach out to me on 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 on, on Messenger, Nelson Kule, uh, whatever. I will share it. it I will play the I, video. Even, but go even ahead, the even the statement the president made right here. If you read, if you just put in contest, it's the same thing I'm saying. <laughs> you understand? If you just put that 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 that, that, that statement in contest, it's the same thing I'm saying. You should not just, you know. But the point I'm trying to make is, everybody, the American government been supporting Liberia consistently, and they keep mm -hmm. preaching the one economic crime and war crime code thing. And every person that comes, they see that saying the mirror and, and drag away from it, and the issue continue. My mind used to say, if you get work to do, if you don't start that work, that work will be looking big and will never be done. Now, Joseph Boaka came to power. Honorable Boaka, Ambassador Boaka, President Boaka came to power, made all the promises to the Liberian people. And he's a lot man in waiting right now. If Joe Boaka don't establish the war crime court, or me, they, they part I look at it so much because most of the, the guys we're talking about in the war crime had they already died. Most of them had died. Now, we, we still got a few of them living that we still got to bring them to, to the justice for sure. But the economic side of it, it's one of the key things the, the guys Thank you. Of. people taking Liberia money and working with impunity. The perpetrator right in the street, and we worship them right Thank there. You. And, and, and they pass around in big car while we're walking the mud, eating food that had all cancer jam on Thank it, you. and people dying every day. You remember when, when the US started aid? Let me say the guy this day, uh, what they all got in the guy that went around Liberia that made our tour and came back to Moreover and told Joshua. So all the support we gave you through the for the healthcare system. Where is it? So it was a US ambassador, and, and that's right. that's what we mentioned. The, the, people the US dying US. in Liberia in the rural area, they can't even get drugs. Pregnant women dying, they throwing that in the thing that they can't even get to the hospital. These are the things that people are addressing. Now we cannot Thank just you. the war crime code is important, but the economic side of it. Is what going to prolong the war has finished the war will never come back and we pray that the war should never come back but what causes this war was the economic side of it and those issues have to be addressed and addressed properly that's why they've been making the make make making uh, mention of let me know you you have all thank the you. Thank, thank, thanks a lot uh uh brother mikhail finally yeah, let's yeah, let me just, let me just quickly. and then um uh, yeah mikhail when you've concluded right no, you, I, you took my time. You are talking something different. You play a video. Okay, we're going to come back to you. We're going to come back to you, Mikael. Right, we'll come, back to, you. We'll we'll come back to you. You're going to have your time. We'll have just a oh, one minute. Right, the no. librarian no. people there, they, no. they already, they've, they've heard you a lot. Nelson, no, no, Mikael, no, 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 Mikael, please conclude in 20 seconds. Right, okay. So even the, the 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 of one minute. everything George, uh, 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 Joseph Baca has started so far, but as a recovery team, it all <laughs> fall within that range, the work and the economic crime coach. So having said that, Joe Baca has started, he passed in the house already. We're waiting for the Senate to get it. So uh, Vasco, Baca is not sleeping. He is doing his job. He fought in his campaign promises. He's doing them. <laughs> so just watch and see. The war plan code, he will establish, even if he don't finish it, we'll continue from there. So the economic side of it, that's why I'm focusing on. Because the war finished, and we won't want no more war in Liberia. But the Thank economic you. side of it, we got to hold those guys responsible to never do that to Liberia and keep killing our people. Thank you. Thank you. Thank uh, you, Mika. So yes, um, you know, before I forget, I'm going to start with this. Vasco, uh, there is no scientific research that has proven that uh, that has proven a direct correlation between aging and loss of memory in the absence of, of health issues, of other health issues. So don't come here and say that because JMB is old, so he, I mean, he can, so, so he is losing his memory. That is not accurate. But um, to the issue, you know, Nelson, wow. he has You think America is talking, Auntie? You don't see the people that around all yet? I'm speaking to scientific research. Uh, but Nelson, in an honest... Answer, I'm going to go to the bag. 
No, but, 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 but listen, back. listen, guys. Anyone who interrupts is uh, that that person will be will will, will will be put in the back, please. Now you can we do have, that of back have... to be transparent because you did it with me, Jenna. And you came back and you still doing the same thing. <laughs> Yeah. But um, guys, so Nelson, in an, an honest attempt to understand the crisis that our country has gone through, that has shaped us to what we are today, I often go back to documentaries, documents, and stuff to read and and actually understand what has happened. And one of the the documentaries that I often watch, and and every time I watch this, I watch this thing. I feel, feel sorry, and I feel like any normal human being, when you watch the TRST report, you will understand that like that justice is justice is needed. People did crimes in that, that country that I mean, people did the unthinkable, and justice is needed. And Nelson, here is it: the reason why some of us voted for JNB, it wasn't because we thought that I mean, of everybody else, only him could rescue like period. No, we were looking at several factors. JNB. When it comes to the will of having some of these things done, the the the, the welcome scope, the asset recovery from government of officials, we were looking at the will. Who has the will to put Liberia on that path in the fastest time possible in their first term? And of every of everybody else, it was JMB because he because due, due to his age, he enjoys this position where he's not going back for second term. So because of that, he he there is no fear. To say, oh, I, I don't want to hurt certain people because then, then they will stop my, my agenda for second term. So we were looking into all of those things to elect JMB. So he is best suited to, to bring this thing to life, Barrio. Now, looking at this letter, Nelson, they say you can only put your mouth to where your money is. The U.S. has supported Liberia for a very long time. And you, you cannot keep supporting someone and you are not, 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 not seeing results. Then, then it's like you are wasting your money. It's like you are putting water in a basket. So now they are, are coming up. They are, are telling you that we have supported you for all of these years. And now we are eager because Liberian people de deserve justice. We are, are eagerly waiting for you to fulfill on your promise to not, not, not just to us or not to us at all, but to the people. And that is why JMB must be the last president to bring this war in this war in. I mean, this this code to Liberia at all at all costs, and I agree with Francis. If this government doesn't do it, Nelson, me too. I will, will start with Francis and say that they should start their support to us. Let Thank us you. us use. You know, you know, we can always say, "Oh, Liberia got resources. Let we use our resources and support our, ourselves." And let and let's let's see if that will be sufficient enough. Well, thank you, uh, <clears throat> Rudolph. We have to go to the phone lines. Let's take a few calls and then we'll be out. Um, 0 triple five one zero one zero seven five zero triple five one zero one zero seven five um is the number to call. Better still, you can call the WhatsApp number right on your screen and you'll be live on um, the show. This is the late night show. We're here live on the Spoon Network. I'm Nelson Collet. Thanks to everyone for joining us tonight. Uh, let's take our first call. Hello, you're live. Your name and where you call from. Yeah. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Let's hear you. Thank you very much, sir. Yes, sir. It's, it's good to have you. Oh, thank you very much. Um, Imam Mohammed Kamar. Calling from AAC. Let's hear you, Mr. Kamar. Hi. Um, I have a concern. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Are listening to the small talk throughout the night, through the day. But something I have not really was able to overcome. I'm question President, we are, as a former president, we are asked, nobody asking that question. Why now? Reason being, anything, Mr. Kule, have a time. The war fought here, the war entered this country. Mm -hmm. December the 24, 1989. At that time, we had four graduated from school. All right. That was for America intervene. I do not want to go who was responsible. Yeah, you, you, yeah, you just want to summarize your point. Right. Mm -hmm. There was not single Liberian in the diaspora 
that could support that work to a level that it was before. We were here. I don't know what was your age at that time, but I was at the age of one eight. Yeah, Rudolph was not born that time. Rudolph was not born. All right. Yeah. 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 Nothing will make you wrong. I'm not, I'm not trying to look for that question. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's a disappointment. Mm -hmm. The war ended in 2003. When all men were asked, the all men were asked, yeah, up to the point, 20,000 men. All the new world that we are talking about today that has gone into power now, got money, some of them overlooking the Lagrana and overlooking things. They were nowhere, including the, the Prince Johnson we're talking about here. They were all in the class. Okay. That was the time to establish the war crime goal. Thank Nobody you. Get time for it. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Let's, let's, let's. let's, 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 let's the lesson till several years, no guy went in power. Yeah, I'm uh, sorry, I will have to hold you there because we have limited time. Thank you. Thank you. Let's hold you there and take another person. I, I just need uh, the callers to be straight to the point because we don't have the luxury of time. Um, you want to make a point, just summarize it, go straight to the point so we, we take others on the line. We can take up to five minutes on just a call. Hello, you're live. Good morning, Nelson. How are you? Yeah, uh, it's good to have you. Um, Godwin, go ahead, sir. Let's say you quickly. Fine. My name is Joe Godwin. I call you from uh, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I followed the discussion very entertaining. Hmm. And uh, I just want to say this to, to our friends on the other side. Um, uh, elections are over, and uh, I think we are all agreeing we should embrace every positive move the ruling establishment. The current government is about to take for the betterment of our country. And as it relates to the ASHA Recovery uh, Committee, mm -hmm. I think it's, it's, it's in the right direction. If the, the, the past government instituted such committee and did not continue, and then the new government comes into place, I think we all should embrace the process and make sure that our country be better. Thank you. I mean, nothing else can better our country. Unless we embrace every possible moves of this of this government. Thanks Thank for you, taking sir. my call. Thank you, sir. Thanks a lot for your contribution. Um, we took another call here. Hello, you're live. Your name and where you call from. Okay. Uh, good evening. Uh, my name is Murphy Sokri. I go from Maryland, USA. Okay, go ahead quickly. Let's hear you. I just want to talk only about the assets recovery. Yeah. I think they are proceeding. They're proceeding wrongly. Uh, and the reason I think that is is because. Look, even in America here, if the FBI is investigating you, by the time they put up on a radio about something you did, that means they got everything on you already. So what I think they should have done is first to go and see, that's what Musa Benedict said, what is lost? What are we looking for? Somebody said there's no system in Liberia. That is not true. Every vehicle that is purchased in Liberia, they have those 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 documents. So you go and say, what are the, the documents? What are a force or that the law is on a boat? If the people are misusing it, then we change the policy. Thank you. But it's there, and people are using it to to to, to have mass wealth for themselves. Go and see what are the documents. Who all pay for cars? We get it. And another thing, uh, we don't do it in Africa. We don't put off information. In one more time, we're going to do this. Two more time, if you get a government card, bring it. If you don't bring it, we're coming after you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. We take another person here. Hello, you're live. Your name and where you call from. Yeah, uh, good afternoon, guys. My name is Adam Benson, uh, Dr. E from uh, Iowa, Waterloo, Mr. Ashley. So my view have to do with uh, the access to corporate team. They're trying. I can see because this is the first move. This is the first government to ever initiate this issue of access recovery. So we agree that they will make some mistakes. No, the CDC started back, it. The CDC initiated a similar thing, but they, they didn't just make it. That's all. But they, they tried. Yeah, they, they didn't. They, they didn't. They initiated, but they didn't. They didn't bring into action. So we don't call that doing something that was it's not done properly. It's not done at all. So the issue that. Joseph Boga has started it, and we see I soon we see those guys on our feet carry on the work. It's, it's great. We understand they will do some mistake. 
they will do some error, they will, you know, do some mistake. But at that goes by, we almost that they will recover and okay. they will learn from mistake they're doing. But I think that Mary Bro, which is the GSA boss, should be part of this team, most especially should be the, the top or the head, head of the team. She need to lead this group because she got all the documentation. Uh, it's, it's, so every document, every most especially the vehicles. What I know is that. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and, and, and that's that's true. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, so let me just conclude. Let me just conclude quickly. Every vehicle you see, it got number that can be a, that that can be used to to track it to identify it. So if she able to identify those vehicles, she gave. Give you specific van number that can be only that van number is is for every vehicle they got a unique number that you should track it down so she can give those van numbers to the people or including her part of the team they can go to fee they use the van number they set up a database to track those vehicles but the asset regarding a tribe but they got to do more thank, thank you. you thank you very much um let's take this person here um hello you're live your name and where you call from um hello yeah how are you yes you're live your name and where you call from my name is clifford taylor clifford go ahead let's hear you okay and i will agree with Everything the government has taken. Where are you calling from, Clifford? I'm calling from Snow Hill, Pistas, the Gunnersville. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Uh, my own input in this discussion, I coincide with everything this government is taking. You understand me? I support the World Crown Code, the Economic Crown Code. I even support the recovery. You understand me? My brother just said the CIA, he want to compare American security with Liberian security. This is not America. Our own approach to things here are different. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks for your input. We'll take the last two calls and then we'll wrap up for tonight. Uh, lots of issues. We still have... have uh... Hello? Hello? Hello, yeah, how are you? Yes, sir. Go ahead. Let's hear you. Yeah, uh, Nelson Kula, good morning to you and uh, good morning to our people. Uh -huh. This is Dexine Ike Sitan. Uh, it's a pleasure. I've been following Spoon Talk. It's a pleasure being on the show for the first time. You know, I wish to have been one of the corner probably the UP, like Zuko, Stockman, from ever to the issue. Uh -huh. The asset recovery is not a bad thing. But in effectuating the process, it becomes a problem. That of that committee should have an office. I thought of those who you to have uh, uh, information on. You call them, delegate them, and they say they don't give you the benefit of that. You take them to the court. But begin to go on the street, something vigor or cause commotion. And that's thing I show you why generous before Spoon talking to be. You don't have to know your show blankets in Liberia. I bet what a great country. So, you know, so say, that, that statement very blanket. And for the bell of the devil, they are still saying in Liberia. It will not be up to London, Great Britain, or America, or China, but they are still saying, yeah. So, to have someone on your show, you are talking emotionally, there's no system like that, you killing me? They are still saying, yeah. The GSA have a, 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 a record of all government vehicles. So, the former police IG, this guy was born in 2016. The processes were effectuated by the United Party Labour headed by Manasseh where government and government workers, government officials or non government officials can buy the car. Like other people say, he can show his flat receipt from NRA, not Central Bank, when he went and paid the money. So if he can prove it, it will be a good thing. So the asset regulatory had to take that time to not call commotion in the place. Because even though all those women were after in the street, they had their followers. Do want to see chaos here? No. All that to see chaos, do it the proper way. The proper way is not to go on the street. And being to arrest people to cause commotion. It's not a good thing. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks a lot. And um, I think we're going to end it there. Um, well, it's been a great show tonight. The final one. Just the I final. Mean, I think... Hello. 
Nazim is me. And my Annie is calling from District 13. Okay, my Annie, please go ahead quickly. Let's hear you. You are yeah, fine of color. Yeah, the fellow that just called, that you should take your own time to take the, the property from those people. You people already decide to do your work, Nazim. All the work on the coming come and work on your know them. You go after them, take the property from the people. They preserve this country in their own interest. I always tell you that my mom drive it, I bought it in the oil drive for six years. Well, you already made your decision to take the property, you're taking from the people. Thank you. Thank right. you. Thank you. Um, so we're not going to take any calls again. We're out of time. So you want to do your closing? Vasco, let's start with you, and then uh, Soiree, and then Rudolph, Mikel, and then uh, Konya, and then we end up with Francis. You want to unmute? Please do that. No, nothing. Liberia is the only country we have, right? We just have to take time. Liberia is just a small village. Every one of us that live over there, one way or the other, we are connected. We just have to calm down. The man of inform, I see Liberia since George Roy became president. I just see it. Some people just, I mean, even up to now, the man is not president. We're discussing the government that is in power. They still going back. They will, by all means, bring George Roy into the picture. We have to come together and take our own turn. Or else, and this president. I, have not, I haven't seen anybody at this man age to be president for La Bureau. I see that on maybe you're telling me I just got thinking around in this. And he will be the last at this identical age to become president for that country. So this he needs to set example. He needs to put this country together. He needs to reconcile. But now I expect President Baka and President Wea to be working together. Unify you. this country. Put everybody together. Who, nobody said don't do your asset recovery, this and that. This country is completely divided. And I am a friend. And the man I inform things happening in the country. When something spark up in Liberia, which of course we're not praying for it. I mean, it's gonna be disaster because we got our children back home. So Thank please, you, Mr. President, if you listening to, to me tonight. You need to calm down. You got a lot of angry people in your government. Too many angry people. They're running all over the place. They want to do things that would take us somewhere that we're supposed to go. So you need to talk to them. Calm down. Thank, Thank you, you. Thank you, Vasco. Um, Peter, just take one minute, sir. Let's hear you quickly. Thank you very much. I think it was a good show. Thanks to the caller for the zero view. Mr. President, I voice you listening to the general the Sacramento voice. Do not take it into any serious manner. Mr. President, if anybody comes to liberate or pull up around the trends of, of progress in terms of governing, it's President Bwaga. You're talking about age. Age doesn't matter when it comes to leadership. There are people who are age today, the lives of Joe Biden, they're making what they have to do to put their country on track. The issue at times we all responsive to people like Vasco is because the way in which they perceive to believe that they're saying things on the right train. But we will not be discredited as a supporter of the government. The asset recovery is on the trend of progress. There are things that they're doing that may not be 100% right, but 90 and 80% right. We think the asset recovery is doing a lot of progress as related to recovering asset. If your asset or what you claim to be your assets, it is not government assets, bring a proper documentation to, to actually put that that asset is yours. What we want to tell our people, we're not discredited. The Joseph Boga government with a with an arrest agenda is on the trends of leverating you. And team will not be bread and butter. Let's remind Thank you of you, that. Sir. Because the CDC led government, to conclude quickly, the CDC led government did not leave any system for anybody to come on the show to tell us their system, nothing, no turnover note, nothing absolutely that comprehensive note that will turn over to Vera Newscript. As making their web smooth, then you no, come but, and say, you come but, but again, if yeah. you say there's no turnover, no, then you have to be specific. Uh, um, 
Bilal, Bilal. Tofira Ministry. That's special energy. There were, there, there, there. You're just like a thought about that. It's just scary. Thought about that. No, but but Vasco, you're interrupting the brother. We have to, you know, address. You have to address the brother with respect now, even in your disagreement. Um, the 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 transitional team was set up. They have different clusters uh, that were set up for different sectors, you know, and uh, they did report. They did uh, compile reports from those different areas, and that report is what is even helping the current government to uh, make some of the progress they're making. So yes. Um, that it might have been the situation at few entities where maybe there weren't, um, uh, there wasn't anything like uh, a turnover note, but the 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 uh, to a larger extent, there were turnover notes. There were you know some um um, um a work that the, the transitional team was able to do to have an idea of where um mm-hmm. they were headed. But so thank the reason you. I gave you. No, the, let's be, the reason I gave you a chance to learn your thought is because I don't want you to be discredited. When I said there was no turnover note, there was mm-hmm. no proper turnover notes that related to some of those things the guys doing, especially for the GSE and other government entities. Not all of the government entities that the, the, the Baca letter government got comprehensive turnover note from. And people talking about Mirabra, Mirabra has been alleged of being incriminated in corruption cases. How will you bring such a human being to the kind of a transparent process. Let us know these things. So, I mean, their government on trains, uh, the issue of discretion, we believe that the CDC, they are very discretive. They got tactics to discredit people. But uh, those are you know, people, you deal with people that are very in the opposition community, so will not be discredited. Thank you very much. Rudolph, and then Mikael, one minute each. Yes, Um. so, to our fellow, I mean, to our dear li- listeners, you know, uh, some of us come on this show not with the intention of buying praises from anybody. We come on this show and say things consciously, though, because, I mean, with the intention of staying true to our conviction. My a- analysis on, on these, these issues, I mean, if you agree with it, Fine. If you if you don't fine, but my goal here is not to get praises. My goal here is to, to stay true to my conviction. And you know, when I express my frust- my frustration with how this whole asset recovery is being carried out, um, it was coming from a place of fear, right? Fear for my government that I supported so I mean wholeheartedly. I use, I mean, I, I use my time and my little resources to support this this process. So when we, we come on, on on here and criticize the wrongs of our own, own of our own government is, is because we are patriotic people. You know, the thing is uh we campaign against Mr. Weah's government because we wanted to see things being done differently. So if we start to, to see things being done like how it was done before. Like how in doing Mr. Weah's time, the former government officials were stopped in the, the street and taking and their vehicles were, were, were taken away from them. And even though they had proof that they bought them through the law, but they were still not, not given back to them. When we, we see these things happening in our government, then I mean for us we 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 sense we sense trouble because then it tells us that the change that we, we anticipated. Is Thank not you. being seen. So when we so that, that so that is where where some of us come from. I don't I, I do not want for people like 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 Vasco and, and his legs to come back here to us and say, oh, but the same thing you're criticized is what you guys are doing. So that is why we will stay true to our conviction on this show each and every day. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Mikael. Uh, okay, so just before Mikael comes in, um, let me squeeze in a, uh, a brother who has begged for twenty seconds. Just to make a quick point, and then we do our closing. Uh, please go ahead. You are welcome to the show. Let's hear you. Thank you very much. My name is Ina Ba, and I call from uh, the United States, Minnesota, to be specific, Minneapolis. Or uh, I want to make a point to say first of all, let me say thank you to Spoon Talk for this wonderful platform that gave me the opportunity to be able to give that view and I mean watching all around the world and we are very grateful for this platform. 
Firstly, I want to say Liberian cannot wait for justice. Where there is no justice, there will always be confusion, there will always be dissatisfaction, and there will always be problems. And if Liberia will transcend to another level, if Liberia will grow to another level, we have to reach a place to allow justice to have its course okay. in that country. So I want to say that we are calling on every Liberian, every true legislators and uh, government official to go for the war crime. Because we can't have a nation that people slaughter president on the street. And they're passing all around in the country there. Thank we you. We have a nation that people who cause problems, they are running around and still and still causing the Thank only you, sir. to be in tears and what they are enjoying. I mean, I'm very, very we are hurt about that. So thank you. World Crime Call will help us. Thank you very much. Thank you um for your input. So um make your own please go ahead quickly, sir. Well, uh thank you, Nessie. Thank you, all my uh, my very panelists that are on the shore. Thank you for people in the comment section, people that are watching around the world. This is Liberia. Like I always say, we come here to help our country grow, to make Liberia better. That's why we take our time to be sitting in the night, leaving our bed to come stay here and talk what we can say to make our country better. We're not here to wish on anybody. We're not after anybody specifically. We are discussing our country issues and what to do with it. Now, you said the door is a hunting door, but the door never catch right. People always say Liberia got rules, Liberia got system, Liberia got justice, Liberia got... But none of those things working. What, what good of it? If we got all those systems and we stay here trying to figure out who got government property, who don't have government property, what good of the system is? What are we making? Why can we make use of the systems? And all we're there, but we go all around looking for things to do when the system right there can help us get what we want. So... We can basically say there's no system until you put common sense is not common until it's been put to practice. So that get that straight. Now, when it comes to this uh, war crime and economic uh, uh, crime code, Joe Barker has started the process. The only thing we had to do as a country is to support this process for all those people to be brought to justice. That we have to do. So when it comes to the asset recovery team, we already started the process again. We cannot go back. It, it got to start from somewhere. Whatever, what, it got to start from somewhere and we'll be correcting ourselves all those mistakes that we're making and we're going along to make it better. So it's on. The war is on. We're going to fight it to the last man. So thank you, everyone, and thank you, Liberia. Thank you. Um, Konya, can you unmute? Maybe I have to do that. that. I'll go ahead. I want to I just, say, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I want to say thank you for the show again. And I want to speak very low so that our people can understand. It should not be like that journalist who asks, you can call back, you can call back, say, no, 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 no. So what I'm saying, if you have got cars that you don't own, please carry back to the government. That is corruption. You take something that you don't own legitimately, please carry back. And then for the war crime court and the economic court, I want I call for it. I'm in support of it. And I want the upper house to approve it, to endorse it. The next thing is that let us be good citizens. Let us do away with corruption because the countries we live in, I live in, in the United Kingdom. I think most of my colleagues on the show there live in America. When we walk, they'll see wherever we walk, we don't walk on dust. Everywhere is paved because there's no corruption. There may be corruption, of course, but it's not that. To, to that extent as we see it in our own country, so in Africa. So let us leave corruption. Let us do the way, the, the right way, so that our government, our country can be good. So Nelson, if that country is good, if Liberia is good enough, there'll be no need for us to leave Liberia to come to where we are today. So corruption is not good for our country. If you have got cars that you don't own, please take it back to stop the embarrassment. And thank you very much. Thank you, gentlemen, for the show. And I will always be available if you want me to be part of the show every time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Gunya. 
uh, you give me a military outfit to uh, scare Maybe you know, I Mene Rudolph and Vasco and, and Bilani and thing, you know, but you, you can scare all of that because <laughs> <laughs> but but that's good. Um let's let's conclude with uh Francis. Thank Francis, you. please go ahead. Yeah, you know, Labron people do, try to ignore these uh suggestions that we actually want to speaking because they have no argument, they did not plan to be out of office by now. They thought they were going to have to uh, get 12 years, so they didn't care. They didn't uh, think about anything else. So now that they are surprised that, that you keep them out of uh, office, they have no good argument. And our brother said, oh, President Barack should work with President Weir. I mean, that sounds good and all, but how? if you if you have a $1,000 and you hang around with somebody who I wonder how you'll be broke like them. So President Barack uh, worked with Judge Weir. What is he going to gain for working with Judge Weir? The president brought no foreign investor to Liberia. For a football player that reached the highest level in football history, the national team became one of the, the, have the worst run under his administration. That's embarrassing. So what can you get from working with him? To be more corrupt? We want to President Barker that things will be tough. Because what you inherited from this past government is not easy. But try to pay attention. We can walk and chew gum at the same time. We will sit here, we'll criticize our government because we need better for our country. Our people are suffering in Liberia. What they went through, it got to get better. But Liberian people, let's understand that it will not get better in this beginning. The foundation that Judge We are laid, President Parker has to break it down and dig the trenches and start that foundation over. So that telling you that things will be tough, but it will get better. I can guarantee you that by the grace of God, by the time this six year is over, Within the first three years, you will see better change than what you saw under the last uh, six years uh, with President George Weir. So please Thank be you. patient. Be patient. Don't listen to them. They were never since then. They did nothing but kept you guys in abject poverty, and all of them became rich. We know people. I know girls that are in America that are living in America. They went to Liberia. They were working in group homes here. They went to Liberia during the last uh, Weir administration. And they were paying that mortgage in America yeah, because it was sex terrorist in Liberia, called himself secretary. Now that they're out, they're all running back to America now because Papaka and people they ain't looking for no girl. Papaka ain't got driving around at night picking up girls. So all of them are running back to America. You can talk for the other, other people and talk for Papaka, but the other people Yeah, I talk about Papaka, but you know what? They said the fish get right in front of the head. Last six years, yeah, they were running to Liberia, like immigration going to Liberia because they were just there working in the offices. Paying that mortgages in America, can you imagine why are people suffering in Liberia? Now they are running back to America to kind of work in a group home now because they know the public talking about you not stand for corruption. So that Trump is part, that yeah. well will dry. That one is running back. So please be patient with President Braga. You will get better. Thank you. Thank you. Um, well, yeah. I want to say thanks to everyone tonight. Vasco, thanks for being here. Uh, Bila Swari, we appreciate you. Uh, mm -hmm. Thank you. Pastor, why are you yearning it like that? It's just yeah. I don't know. Opposition. The man is tired. Who was the opposition? I did, I did, I did, I did, I did almost 16 hours today. The man said, friends, have been on him too much, so he's tired. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Our brother, Mikael, on. Thank, thanks for being here tonight. Um, Konya Lofa, we appreciate you. Um, Thank you, and then, um Thanks to everyone. Francis, Jabate, man. We appreciate all of you guys. We look forward to a great show tomorrow. Oh and I want to say thanks to our audience. Thanks to uh, Axford Copor. Uh, Axford Copor say Vasco Tire. Thanks to Dolo Joseph. Um, we appreciate everyone, man. All of you tonight. Mavis, Masakoy. Um, I see uh, Masia Sne Sneling. Um, hope I got your name right. And thanks for being here, Daniel Harris, Sigma, um, uh, Suluma. And we appreciate all of you, man. Austin Tapia. Uh, um, yes. So, <laughs> what's happening, Vasco? Vasco, uh, you know, uh, 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 u
Rupa, I would have had a taste of opposition like what it means. You know, the <laughs> you know, you know I remember, no. I remember Vas- uh, Vasco sent a video to uh, 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 Randy. He sent a, he sent a video to Randy. That's the image of the little one. I remember that. I always that he knows he's doing that. <laughs> yeah, see, they beg to come by your closest stay with a car. Don't <laughs> no, no deviate away. Oh, no, he, 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 he knows a video I'm talking about. I laughed that day so much. Vasco was there. Oh, Randy, I was sending the video to you about Baka. Look at Joe Baka. Look at Vasco, you know, innit? <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. A special one from the CEO, Stan Tunnel with the Spoon. And your boy.